radio is dead. All radio is dead. I'm afraid of radio wars. You fucking, you niggas try playing a nigga, try. Who is this guy? Who is this? Read that, read that comment down there, Lance. You see it? This guy here in Ellis sounds a lot better than Sansy. This dude is ruined being Asian for dynasties. Forget about Star Trek. There's not going to be another Asian in space for generations. He's a man with respect. He respects women 150%. She's not even a real hoe. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck are you putting me to? I wonder her front teeth that is cut with a slam. It's a five degree angle. How the f- it looks like someone cut it with a rotary tool. Yeah, Kendi and Ellis on the show. He follows us on, uh, follows me on Twitter. Spell it, Joe. 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 He's a radishy cougar. And if he thinks some fake news, well, you know what? Come see what fake news is, because I'll teach you what fake news is, because we are real news. We kill the buddy Jay. We are real human beings. And nobody disrespects me. That was your gay. Make fun of my show all you want. Hey, I don't care. See, you're, you're the joke, not me. You're the biggest joke on the face of this earth. You didn't know what you're talking. You didn't make sense. You can't even show your own face. It's a stupid mic. What's this? I don't need no mic. Do I need a mic to be on my show? No, I don't need a mic. I don't need a, I don't need nothing. The camera, my phone, nothing. You have a basement that is broken down. Holes in the wall. Holes in the wall. Welcome to the gaming channel. Give me a freaking break. I'm better than you 150%. You address the question. Who addressed the question, you fucking bitch ass chinkster? Seriously, who wants to watch Rice Stern? You got me. Are you fucking scheming? Yeah, yeah Dipper. Freak? Yes. Dipper really hard all day to put these shows together so that he can get 15 minute cam show. Yes. yes. We got like this, they're just living literally that's with Patrice O'Neill. I don't understand that. No. I apologize. My name's Ian. Uh, no, Let me introduce you. myself. I laughed at all of your jokes. I laughed at all of Alan's jokes. I'm always good to people. Go fucking fuck yourself, dude. What do you feel like I did to you? Uh, just, just go. Just don't, don't talk to me. I apologize. Do not talk to me. Do not talk to me. Away. All right. Well, I apologize. Well, I no, made I you feel bad. Shit. Go fuck yourself. I, I want to make amends. I yeah, wanna... no, you were horrible. Okay, you were yeah. horrible and you humiliated me in front of other people that I care about the best. So please go away. I apologize. No, you're, you're not even any good. Away. So please go away. Thank you. No, I'm no, sorry. go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you're so nice. You're fucking Dora and go to the dick. So this little fag, he fucking, he goes, I don't like radio wars. And he fucking does this shit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the wacky, wonderful world of With Apology. Your hostess, with the most, is the commander in chief, the co pilot, the main pilot, Ian Ellis. I think I'm a potato. <laughs> Next, uh, rocking right there in the red corner, we got 255 pounds of pure chicken grease. CEO! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Like the chicken grease joke, you? I like that. That was funny. (laughs) What's good, everybody? Ninety percent grease by volume. Grease by volume. That doesn't include the grease in his butt either. That's true. I've been having some liquid shits today. Oh Oh, no! (coughs) Did you take a shower before the show? Oh yeah. (laughs) Spilling fresh. Yeah, man. You're going to be excited because I think uh, I have every single person we've ever covered included in tonight's show. Really? Even unbleached? I, I had a grab bag ready by Thursday. By Saturday you've... afternoon, I had another grab bag. Two grab oh, my bags. God. Well, this is perfect, then. So uh, you, you have broke bar in this. Well, I was watching... Uh, uh, Joe's Sports Channel last night. And then I is saw, he the way? Is Broke Bar still alive? So I saw that he went live. I went over there. Same people were in both chats, and uh, I I said I, it's, it's too much. I I've already got too much stuff. I've got pictures. I've got graphs. I've got two grab bags. I I cannot have another clip. I don't care what happens. <laughs> so okay. I turned around. And I I was on uh, Joker's channel last night with Joe Booney. 
I encourage everybody to go check that out. Okay, cool, cool. We're, we're just going to get right into it. Cosmic, can you pull up the Grab Bag 7 Part 2? Okay, see, I was thinking about doing that. Hold on. Sorry, Ian. Should have had this prepared. I've been smoking. I like that we have we, – we, we, we need to come up with an official list for our cast because sometimes even I forget. <laughs> Again, There's like I lot. said, I want to have the, the wall from Moneyball. The board. <laughs> the board with all you know the what? names. <laughs> Get out your dry erase because we're going to mark off a lot of names tonight. There's okay. like 12 of these motherfuckers. We'll just get them right off the bat. Hold on. And that includes Trump and Joe Biden. So this, oh, shit. Well, Bell Ann pointed this out, and maybe we'll talk about it later. Trump has been copying our style, and he has a YouTube channel where he just posts fools clips of, of Joe Biden. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. It's the Donald Trump LLC. <laughs> so this first clip coming up, you're not going to believe this. All right. Well, I have to load the YouTube up. Just give me a second here. I got it right here. Cosmic's still pulling up. I just want to tell you about it. I want to prep you for what you're about to see. You're not going to believe this. Um, Don A has been struggling in the mattress game lately. Said, Wait, what? 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 He said this is the worst he's ever seen, and he lived through the bed bug epidemic of 2008. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> pales in comparison to the pandemic, so he's had to get a second job, a side job. Oh. And, oh. and his manager is a fan of the show who sent me secret CCTV footage of Don A at his new job. Oh, fuck. Exclusive. CCTV Nobody footage. else has this tape. Don A working his new job. Oh, Let's shit. get into this expose right here. Come on. Wait. Oh, shit. Did I show the audio? Yeah, dude. Wait, wait, wait. I got a question. What's up? Do we have... You know, I know. Just, just, just play it. Just play it. Don't okay. worry about it. <laughs> I, I like this. He's an officer. Is he a security guard for children's birthday parties? What is he, what is he doing there? Oh, where's the cannoli? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if he was a lifeguard or what was going on. Oh, shit. Donnie is dressing up like a clump. And he is going community by community to raise goodwill for the police as the new police mascot. Clap it up for him. And he's in a fat suit for no reason. It's just like Tyra he's Banks. In, he's, I like it. I like I like it. Black community by black community. Don A. Hey, come here. Let me tell you something. Please ain't that bad. <laughs> Hell yeah. Fucking shit. Don A. Doing some community service work in a Tyra Banks fat outfit. I can't remember what's next, but I believe it's come town. If it is, just pause it and I'll set it up real quick. <laughs> Guess what? Use a lot of oh wait, yeah, it's come town. So come town released two episodes this week, and in the first one, Adam Adam Friedland, who we've been picking on, yeah, he says, "Guys, pay attention to the Mister Feeny bit." Oh, you know, in case in case you can't pick up subs, because they're still taking little shots at us. Uh oh. So here's from their premium episode, the tail end of the Mr. Feeny bit. Let's see what they have to say. Okay. A lot of people would say this show is formulaic. Tell me what formula that <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tell me what formula went into that, <laughs> Mr. Genius. <laughs> that it's the same joke every time. You just take a ever... show from the 90s <laughs> and make, make the character of pop culture <laughs> reference. Yeah. But. This time, Jeff. Come Town, the come based improv troupe. Some people have been saying, or Ian Ellis said that you take a show from the 90s and make it gay, and that's your whole show. Who said that? That was Ian, I believe. Raise your hands if you remember. I, I heard it. Nick, you know I how you it. came up with that? You took two impressions that you've been doing on every episode for the last three months. Uh, Who's who's the nerd that did WAP? Uh, I debate him really fast. Yeah, 
uh, Ben Shapiro. Yeah, you've been doing Ben Shapiro and the dude from Jurassic Park, Jeff Goldblum, and you just shoehorn them into a bit where you took a show from the 90s and you made it gay. <laughs> oh, my God. How What creative genius. How the fuck did you ever come up with that? Jesus Christ, my nigga. I mean, what? Yeah, don't these guys make you claim like 80000 an episode? Yeah, they do. They make a lot of money. They got a big <laughs> Patreon. This no. Adam Freeland guy, I fucking hate him. <laughs> Adam, I'm going to tell you what I want from you. I want a meeting where it's you and me at a table with a loaded firearm. And what we're going to do <laughs> is we're going to listen to that last episode of Come Town, the one with the Feeny bit you're so proud of. We're going to listen to the whole episode. And for every single joke you get off in that 80 minutes, you can put a bullet in my fucking head. <laughs> oh, shit. Now, if we get to the end of this episode and it turns out you didn't contribute one funny line in 80 minutes, I get to violently rape you in the asshole. Okay, that seems reasonable. Are you seems... willing to take that bet? My life versus the sanctity of your butthole. I'll have to talk to his lawyer. It's not going to be a... I'm putting my life on the line versus rape. Life yeah. versus rape. It's like a I'm, fucked up Russian roulette. I'm going to eat a bag of blue chew and I'm going to tear through it, Adam. Are you ready to make that bet? Do you feel like you contribute to the show? Here's what I want. I want a quota for Adam. And if he can't say three funny things in an episode, he doesn't get his cut of the Patreon. You take it, you donate it to Palestinian refugees or whatever anti-Jew organization you Oh, no. Find. How about how about the other guys just get to keep it? Like, who cares about the oh. refugees? Yes. And Nick Mullen. Nick, what I want you to do is I want you to sneak into our universe undercover. All right? Make up a new name. Just like a Japanese calligrapher, when you get to, when you've mastered your style, you throw it away. You make up a new name and invent a new style. Sneak in here, Nick. Come play with us. That's what he needs to do. You're going to find it's the thing missing from your life that you didn't know was missing. Word. F. Goldblum is there. <laughs> yep. And conservative pundit Ben Shapiro. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's because that's because we have good politics. Mm -hmm. We do. We're well, really first and it. foremost. We're a there's probably some show. fucking retard that listens to Chapo that hears us making fun of Ben Shapiro and he's like, yes, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, I may have left that a little long. Guess what? It's all right. It's all right. Oh God, do we have to get into debate stuff? I oh, feel like you. We're, we're not getting into that. This uh, second grab bag was kind of hastily thrown together. Okay. Uh, so that was just uh, a little bit of drip off from my bad uh, editing. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Yep. Oh, boy. All right. What are oh, so what are we getting into here? Well, Joe Booney and Chill? Is a big announcement. And we're Good about news. To from the man himself, the one, the only <laughs> Joe Booney, is he coming to Netflix? Imagine what? yourself. Imagine yourself, uh, CEO. You get with a nice filly. You take her home. You go to the cardboard favela. You turn on some Netflix, and then you hit some you Joe Booney. Joe Booney. And that, oh my God! That, was, that would be yeah. People I'm don't. Tell you. It's it's not as flashy as the Tiger King, but there's just as much shit to uncover. And there's just as much class and style. Let's see. Joe, is it true you are going to be on Netflix? In the near future, we are working with some great people that are going to make this great documentary on Joe Booney and the story about me and the story about my family. We're going to have a book soon. I need you guys to go check out your house, social enterprise. Great people with David Carruthers, the commander in chief. If you want to say of that company, I like to say commander in chief uh, because you I'm also going to be giving talks. Yeah. You know, those are absolutely. <laughs> yeah, have we heard this before? Netflix will be it. Yes, Netflix will be. You know, take your time. Enjoy the things you love. Never, ever back down. Never look behind. Keep marching forward in life. And that's what the Tim Bay Lightning did. <laughs> Jesus. Holy shit. That'd be so crazy. 
What if it was like on the front page of Netflix too? Like when you open Netflix, oh, it starts that's playing. My you know, fucking dream. That's my dream. That would a, be completion. A new cover every week. I would have them printed up as posters. Just again, oh. yeah. A life size Joe Booney selling like Pepsi Colas at the grocery store. Yeah. <laughs> you can be a winner with Joe Sports Channel. And next to a Pepsi Cola fucking display. Oh, I want to. I want to float like a or one of those inflatable blimps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what I want. So here's what we know about the story of Joe Booney. Something happened where his parents split up. It was quite dramatic. He still has a lawyer to this day. <laughs> he was a baby. His mother remarries, and that's where we meet his father. Is that Josiah? Yeah. Yep. They are Libyan Muslims living in Canada, and they're raising a young autistic sports entrepreneur, Joe Booney. He's getting picked on in school, and he has a weight issue. He loses the weight. Yep. Jared from Subway, look out. He becomes a student mentor at his school. He launches the Joe Booney Sports Channel, and uh, he hangs out with Mr. Laurinaitis. It's all the makings of a behind the scenes, you know. It really is like the it's like behind the actor studio, you know. Hey, what's oh, going on, I, everybody? I just realized I was in the chat now. Oh hey, man, come on, Billy. Joe Booney's coming to Netflix. Have you heard the good he's, news? he's penning a book. See, so, uh, oh yeah. Do you think he's writing it, or do you think it's as told by Joe Booney? I think it's as told by Joe Booney, but I want to read it. I don't care. I don't even care if it's a picture book. <laughs> to be honest, he's gonna I write said, his hope dreams. I said the Netflix documentary is gonna end up being a six-part series, like Tiger King, where it starts out about Joe Booney, but by the end of episode two, it's about us and Jimmernam and Kyle, and it just <laughs> oh, it's yeah. completely off the rails. And they're like, "There's four more episodes of this. Who's Mersh?" <laughs> <laughs> What's the corporation? <laughs> oh, we'll have a fucking field day. Jesus Christ. The chicken man fired in disgrace. News at 11. <laughs> For teasing Toronto uh, famed Joe Booney. Oh, man. Joe said some guys have been betraying him. I said, Joe, you give me those names. Who don't have been worry, betraying we'll him? I don't know. He said someone in his family betrayed him. I, oh, I I I I have a feeling I know who it is. I was talking to him about sports last night, and he brought up those legacy baseball players. And uh, I was repeating your point about how like one of them was halfway good and the other one was shit, but he was good PR. And Joe was like, "Oh, well, you know, CEO, he likes to move the pies around." What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Another great Joe Booneyism for the books. Get your hands off my motherfucking pies. We're excited. Guys. I like to move the pies. <laughs> if you see this Joe Booney thing anywhere, we're just going to retweet the living shit out of it. Support it. Five star review. Joe Booney, can we get a, just a few words from you about this upcoming potential project? It's a great potential. First of all, I just want to thank you guys for letting me come on tonight. Yes. Uh, I really appreciate that. But uh, great potential. Uh, the book could be come out in 2021. The documentary could come out soon. I don't have uh, all the information, but I got a good meeting on Wednesday uh, afternoon with David Carruthers and a few other people. It's going to be great, and we're going to win, win, win like we always do on the Booty Network. So this, Joe, this could launch you into politics. I can lot Hey, I just want to – I love to be out there, and I love to help people when I give back. See how he didn't say no, everybody? This man's ahead of the curve. Mm -hmm. Joe, maybe you can tell CEO, you said you're open to working with the Arana Nation if he can broker that deal. I didn't say that. Holy like, shit. That, well, you should be. I, I, you know what? I want if the, the documentary, if the documentary comes out, I want CEO to have a little speech for Booney. That's what I want. Me too. Thank God. I, I might want that more than anything I've ever wanted. <laughs> I, I, you know what, guys? I think there is an Allah at the end of the day. Yeah, I think there is real. Because it's great. Look, I got the Raptors commentator coming on my show after the NBA Finals. Yeah. I got the Atlanta Hawks commentator 
coming, and I think in the next couple of weeks on my show. Uh, there's good potential there. There's good potential to have Magic Johnson on my show in the near future. Yeah. You know, it's doing well. You know, not the best for 20 rule, you know? But they call bumping shoulders with greatness, Joe Booney. That's what you're doing. You're going to pick up their energy and you're going to be the head commentator of the XFL in 2020. That would be 2022. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, this is, so this is just oh. the warm up. We haven't even seen the ceiling on how high you're going to rise. Well, see, man, I just, you know, I look forward. Um, Whatever happens, happens. You know, I'm blessed. I'm, I'm only 20 years old, so I'm just going to keep marching forward. And, you know, uh, if like the documentary comes out in the book, it's going to be unbelievable. You know, 2021, we're, we want to reach that. But we're going to see on Wednesday, we're going to talk to my parents, to my family, see how things are going to be. Because you got to pay for some things, you know, not everything is free. But, you know, sometimes money is good because money can take you. Uh, everywhere in life sometimes. Joe, so, Joe Booney, can you uh, send me, Belland, a link to where we look at this I will, website? I will know. It's not a website, but I'll email you. It was like a PowerPoint they made for me. I know. Let me see that. Yeah, but here's what I don't understand. I don't understand how they're making a book already. Like, your story is just started. Like, I feel like it's going to be chapters. <laughs> I have a yeah, lot don't you write a book at the end of someone's life? Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, it's a book I have because I have a lot of stories. A lot of like, look, I mentor a lot of kids. I have a lot of stories to tell about kids that what happened to them over the years. I helped them. A lot of things about that. Uh, mentoring kids and uh, helping, you know, a lot of lot of kids over the years. That a lot of stories out there that I haven't told many people. I'm not going to say on to but there's some very powerful stories out there that I've helped and they overcame uh, a very great priceless. Priceless. Yeah. You know? Okay. Joe, I, I don't want you to pay for a thing. I'm not going to pay for a thing. No, no, I'm not going to pay for a thing. My, me and my parents, we're not going to pay for a thing, no. Joe, if, if you need help raising funds, would you consider doing a Christmas album and we'll all buy a copy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just need some here. Where is it? Uh, I'm reading the comment. The they don't even have to be American. I'd love it if they were all uh, Libyan Christmas songs. <laughs> I just no, need some no, no. <laughs> David <laughs> Brothers is saying just some financial backers to help with the cost of the publishing the story in the documentary. Fuck yeah. No. It'll take some time, Joe. That'd be fucking crazy. Can you imagine? No, no, be serious. You know, just imagine. I am being serious. It'd be fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, be awesome. And all of a sudden from CEO. All I did, all I did was just point you in the right direction. I had nothing else to do with anything. Yeah, but you helped me. You member, you mentored me. You said a lot of good advice from the off camera. That's you know? true, and you were very, very, very uh, resistant. <laughs> I, was, I, I was a son of a bitch as well that time. Don't yes, you that. were. I can't believe. It. Uh, I was going to say. I mean, I think it's going to be either next weekend or the one after. I mean, I, I I was planning on making an appearance on yeah. the Joe Sports channel. Come, it's a great show. You'll have a blast, Joe. Can you I know. with us tonight? Because we're gonna look at Trump later, and I'd love to have you here. Yes, actually, I'm just uh, waiting for some food. I got some uh, Uber Eats. My cousin uh, opened his little restaurant up at his little house, so I'm waiting for some food. But we can uh, we can eat and we can talk and we can. It's an illegal about. business. He's running a, a, a restaurant out of his house. Uh, no, 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 it's not a big, it's like off Uber Eats and uh, DoorDash and all that. Okay, all right, fair enough. Hey, let's just say when you said it was out of his little house. So, Joe, you're going to join us for the rest of the grab bag or until your food gets here? Yeah, the grab bag. I want to see President Trump. He's doing well. I'm excited. I'm all pumped up. Well, let's, uh, let's plow ahead because I think we got some more looking. fun stuff. Uh, we got so. plenty. Sorry, Joe. You're one of many plenty fun things we got today Thank or tonight. You. Guess what? It's perfectly. Ian, Ian, got any setup for this, or can the Rotten Nation speak for himself? Well, last week I uh, I edited Arana's tape and I added mm -hmm. in graphics and touched it up so that it didn't look like complete shit. And uh, he has taken the cue, and he is now doing the Ian Ellis dot Podbean experience as his show. LL Cool J style music in the background, filters. And, uh, <laughs> what? We're going to get into it more in depth later, but here's just a, a taste of Arana's new style. Whoa. So he really adopted a new, what looks good, crisp. Normal to get 
coronavirus, and I'll tell you what, I've got diabetes. <laughs> oh no, Rodney Nation got the Patrice O'Neill disease. I'm disease. so glad you made that, Ian. <laughs> so, That's um, gold. You know, he, he's so mad at, at Doug Ford, um, but then Trump got corona, and now now he's changed his tone to like, you know what, we all, we're all going to get it. We all just get it. You just get corona, all right? The world we live in. Let's go to the restroom. You have fun, Joe. You he know, made comes out all right. He made such a big deal about the Delta Bingo Parlor and the old lady's <laughs> neck hole, and now he's saying we all need to be wearing masks or we're gonna get it. <laughs> Jesus, guys, if he can get touched, he can hit any one of us. It's real. It's real. Jesus. All right, let's see what's next. This crap bag of goodies. Guess what? Oh, shit, guys. Are we going to watch this little promo? Because we all know that our favorite fighter, and there's Ian, you don't even know, last night, so much stuff that should be in the grab bag today happened last night because he now knows Ross Dog and everything. But should we watch well, this? I'm saying stuff is happening too fast. We can't even keep up with it all. Yeah. So exactly. Ross Dog made an emo- amazing promotional video uh for felony charles bennett just the last two minutes of it my favorite part of the video but go watch the whole thing on the ross dog channel and uh let's take a look at felony yeah watch the whole thing because you know who watched the whole thing last night charles felony bennett watched the whole thing last night Uh on stream and joe booney and joe booney we need that ross dog clip Uh oh! He got Chun Li's haircut. <laughs> this just makes him seem so much more like menacing and badass. I fucking love it. He like he he liked it a lot. Felony's new fight is like an underground thing. Is there a way for us to get video of it? Is it okay for us to watch it on the show? Felony Charles Bennett returns October 24th. God was whatever. Ross Dog returns October 25th. Get excited! October 25th. People are. I know. So wait. so he only has, even though it's part two. So, but so he has a fight coming up, right, CEO? Right, like in like two weeks or next week. CEO still here with us? Oh <laughs> shit, he fell out. God damn it! Oh, I know his yeah his device. Come on, leave and come back, CEO. Or is October twenty fourth, felony fights again in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I I can't it- imagine it's a sanctioned fight because he's a drug addict. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, what is the? I, w- I want to know. I want to know. I think CEO popped up back here again. I want to know this organization real fast. CEO, do you know anything about when he's fighting and like, or it's the twenty fourth, right? I'm ninety nine percent sure because it's happened before where he was fighting and it was on Cam Soda, that porn website. Okay. And I'm 99% yeah. sure that this is another Cam Soda 
MMA show. Yo, we got a. My girl has one of those uh, uh, logins and everything. We can stream it on in the Discord. Do, it's good. It it's good. We'll, figure, we'll, we'll try to figure it out. We'll try to figure out. We will if, try and figure it out. I'm 99 percent sure that's where it's happening because those are the only fucking people that would give him money to fight at this point. Shit, I'll stream it on YouTube. Fuck it. We can watch it and react to it on YouTube or just in the Discord. It doesn't matter. I'm just saying. Yeah, man. We'll Damn. make it an event. October 24th. Put it on your calendars. It's a Saturday. God, I hope he wins. Uh, I hate to interrupt this. Oh, hold on. I got to put a new one. Sorry. I hate to interrupt all this, but CEO, uh, when this is over, even if you just get off, fucking message me about your connection. I want to ask you something. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to do it right now. Uh, all right, all right, all right. I, I wasn't spot. planning on getting off. I don't know why I got disconnected. Well, I'm going to, that's what I want to ask you about. Hold on. Let me load up the next grab bag. Part two. Technically part one. I don't understand why there's nobody at the UFC that just won't give this guy a chance. Like, he. His ratio is fucked up, dude. How many losses to wins does he have at this point? It is, but you know what? It it is, but the UFC has always had guys in it that they had. like, Like, they kept around CM Punk. They kept around Kimbo Slice. They've always had, like, and he's a personality. And they have so many, there's so many, like, okay, like, I don't think the fight would be particularly competitive. But could you imagine, like, Crazy Horse versus Conor McGregor? That's a fight you could do. We uh... felony is a punching bag, so you don't have to worry about, like, throwing away a good fighter. You've got to get your fighter a couple wins. Throw him in there with felony. What the fuck? That's, That's what I mean. Them. I saw Creed 2. I know how boxing works. I would like to know yeah, the clip of uh, felony picking the guy up behind his back and spinning him around like a helicopter and slamming him into the side of the steel cage as a uh, potential grab bag bumper. If you guys like don't know this yet, but I love Dan like, White. I love Dan White. Clip it up and send it to me. What are you saying, Joe? Okay. I love Dan White. Uh, he's a rich motherfucker. Well, yeah, I mean, look, Dana White, but, like, Dana White doesn't know when he's got something good. Seriously, like, I get he's got all the legal trouble, but he's hard. he would be hardly the first UFC fighter to have legal problems. I mean, John Jones gets arrested, like, every six months. <laughs> Hell, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, your father bus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John, Jones, John Jones. If he wasn't, if he never got arrested, he'd be one, be one of the best fighters out there. I'm telling you guys. You don't think Crazy Horse could be like a lower level gatekeeper or something? You know, kind of like That's Keith Jardine. I mean. Like Keith Jardine. Like I don't know why they seem to like make people go through Keith Jardine to like keep going up that weight class, or they used yeah, to. You know, right now I'd say the biggest gatekeeper. Uh, would well, I can't think of well, I, I maybe in the last few years is like Yushin Okami, yeah. where anybody who's a middleweight, like if you beat him, that means you're gonna fight the next, you level, know, guys. the Anderson Silvas and stuff. You yeah. know, I don't get why. And, and Charles Bennett, like he he fights, he'll fight at like any weight class. He doesn't give a fuck. Like they used to have. Like, <laughs> He's like they, eight feet tall, four hundred and thirty pounds. I'll fight a sumo wrestler. I'll fight a baseball player. He's like, that's what I mean. Go, like, make the fight. They used to keep Tank Abbott around just as a fucking guy who's a name who can, can't really fight. You but know, there, you know, there's a very successful YouTube channel that is just a car tire driving over things. Uh, yeah, people just love it. It's got millions of views. Um, Diego Joey Sanchez. I, I have a really good Charles. question actually. I want to ask you guys. I don't know if this is true, but every person I spoke to, they said Dana White is gay, and I don't care if he is. Is he? Oh my goodness! <laughs> Not that I know him, but he probably I mean, is because he has a yeah, kid, right? I mean, he's mean a kids. Don't mean he's not a fruity booty still, though. No, I'm just saying. I don't care. I want to know if he's gay or not gay. I don't care. Joe, I assume it, yeah, I was a don't care, him. but it's imperative to know. I I, like I assume everybody in Hollywood is fucking gay at this point. On some level. Yeah. And Ian They've says that with stuff. certainty. Yeah. yeah. I've met them. They're gay. Um, Not quite what I was talking about, but sure. 
I felony needs to start a YouTube channel that's just felony verse where he just beats up like water coolers and Coca Cola machines. He can make a mint just doing that shit. Oh being God! A can we everyone that went over there last night tell him to do that? I wish I was there. It looks so fun. Oh, it he was knows, so much fun. He's. I guess. I guess he's he's emailing Ross Dog and and wants to move in on Ross Dog's fucking front porch or something. I don't know what's going on. It's a whole thing. Yeah, We're gonna see to what happens. Drunk, drunk. Didn't yeah. Ross Dog call it and say felony was gonna end up living on his couch? He did. <laughs> he's, oh, gonna, was- he's gonna be RDA's answer to Mersh. Our couch guy will beat up your couch guy. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure, man. We'll be the only, well, maybe not the only comedy podcast with a UFC fighter, but, but with a legit, scary fucking UFC fighter. A, a crazy, we'll snap at you if you say something to him in the wrong tone, UFC fighter. We can fighter. start calling out other comedy podcasts and be like, Brennan Shaw, fight him. Fight felony. Come on, Brennan. Yeah, fight one of our boys. Man. Fight Damn. one of our boys. Why would Brendan and, and Felony not do that? Brendan's podcast is gone because he keeps getting in trouble because of Brian Callen. So he might as well fight Felony. I asked you him. know what? Here's the other thing, too. Like, he's got probably 100 pounds on Felony. <laughs> Literally 100 pounds. Yeah, but, I was realizing that last night. He's like an inch shorter than me, but he can fight like a motherfucker. A you see his guy. old videos. Yeah, he's tiny. He pops with energy. <laughs> he's like a rubber band. He's like that that scene in Snatch, where they like beat the fuck out of Brad Pitt, and then he just pops up and like murders him. You know, yeah, there's, a, there's a timeline out there where a felony hangs out with us and gets into all this and goes from UFC to stand up like uh, Brendan Schwab did. <laughs> Brian yeah, Callen just has up. or that's felony the second, has Netflix specials. Yeah, it's the second <laughs> season of the Netflix special felony. <laughs> what if we just low key end up in the background of eight? documentaries but Ian, so Ian Ellis's business be good. credit is opening for felony that'd be good shout out that'd to Pop Balter who dropped our name in his uh, Saiyans Red Bar merch doc everybody go check that out Um, you won't believe this but Kyle is our headliner tonight now we're not we're not going to get to that but what I what he is going to headline with later is we found out how he got kicked out of the military at long last I have the full story so wait, so he didn't punch a Simone woman in the face? In that Hawaii? question will be answered tonight definitively. Okay. It. Some people say it's just a wild story that I made up and tricked him into saying several times, and other people believe it's true. And tonight we're gonna find out if it's true or not. Yeah, we we know for a fa- we know that he was in the navy. And uh, wait, war stories? Is that what we're about to hear, guys? Worse. Well, that that's our headliner later, but we're gonna start with him just talking about Philip Wave real quick. Oh, uh, Philip Wave, stupid. Hold on, let me pull it up and full screen it. I should have done that earlier. Stupid, I'm stupid. Sorry. Ross oh, Dog sent me uh, comments on uh, my podcast the other day, and someone said that uh, they let the fame go to him. We've changed, guys. Jesus, you're a regular fucking sellout. All Man, that clout, CEO, straight to your head. Trade to his ego. Yeah, I watched that. Uh, uh, you know, Philip Wave. Nigga, they used to go live on Call Black Philip. They got no subs. Me saying it won't bring them any. They're just not talented. <laughs> 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 that was a real quick Kyle one right there. <laughs> yeah, no subs, no views. Uh, I am watching Pop Vulture's uh, documentary. Uh, he uses the insult, you got a war forehead on like several different people. <laughs> and he laughs. He loves time. that. He loves that wharf cling on forehead I, line. I think he said about his wife and Mersh. That that's Kyle's stand up material. Kyle's stand up material is to go up so, call someone wharf cling on forehead, talk about how his retarded kids are retarded, and then yells at the audience because they don't laugh. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle has an amazing ability to treat everything he says like it's fresh and he's saying it for the first time. It is remarkable. No matter how many times he calls someone 40 and why, it's still kind of funny. I wouldn't have the energy. I, I feel like I gotta get something new around here. It's like Groundhog Day. You gotta get that drunk and wake up and forget you did it all and do it again. It's For him, it's new every time. All right, so we're going to get into something kind of new here. I didn't watch the debates last year, but I watched them this year. And uh, a lot of people are saying adult grown-up things about that, but that's not what we're going to do. 
this was amazing. This was two streamers fighting. And I'd like to show you about four of my favorite moments from the debates because I'm sure you didn't watch them. Okay. Let's go. Let's get into it. Oh, wait. I, don't, I got the space bar. Sorry. Okay. Justice Ginsburg said very powerfully, very strongly, at some point, 10 years ago or so, she said a president and the Senate is elected for a period of time. But a president's <laughs> elected for four years. I'm not elected for three years. I'm not elected for three years. All right, so Biden. we have the Senate. We have a president. <laughs> so Joe Biden is trying to sneak away the uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg seat. Ruth Bader Ginsburg, of course, is famous for saying a woman's place is in the kitchen. Uh, she's yeah. a strong advocate for the nuclear family. Yeah, keep you bitches in our place. One of the last uh, bastions of morality and class for women to get your mm -hmm. fucking act together and suck that goddamn dick. That's right. And uh, this bitch is dead, and Trump, <laughs> Trump has to replace her. And uh, I love that he threw a dead Democrat in Joe's face, and he's like, your own bitch said fucking you elected for four years not three it's simple math do i gotta do the math for you i gotta get out of speaking spell for you joe four years it's still my turn back the fuck off it was definitely a fucking curveball that's for sure <laughs> you did not expect the ruth gator ginsburg fucking trump quote. spent the entire night throwing democrats at joe he was like hillary said you ain't shit obama said you ain't shit uh, that Mexican bitch don't like you. He's like, Joe, you stink. Your own team hates you. You suck. 40 and white. Lost of life. Perfect, perfect, perfect time I came back. Perfect. I'm not saying this. Your own friends are saying this. This is what Joe, your own friends say about you. Now, Joe, we're looking at Ian Ellis's, Ellis's highlights of the debate. All right. You ready to get into the next highlight? Yes. All right. Let's do it. He's elected to the next During election. that period of time, during Probably that period like of time, alien. we have He does. I'm not look at him. Look at years. him. I'm elected for four years. Looks like a turtle. Like looks like gills on the side of his head. A hundred million people is totally <laughs> wrong. I don't know where you got that number. The bigger that problem that you have is that you're going to extinguish 180 million uh, people with their right private now. health care. That they're very That's happy That's simply with. not true. Well, you're simply going that. to but socialists. You're going to socialists. We're now into, gentlemen, we're now into... So wait, what did, what just happened? Biden no, accidentally that was, said a hundred million people died of coronavirus. That's what he it, said. It, Not only once, a couple times actually. They keep oh, trying shit. to spin it like everybody that died of COVID, Trump personally killed. <laughs> Donald Trump killed 153 million Americans. I Facts. hate to be I hate to be political at all, but he did try to ban China travel and they called him racist. <laughs> And now we all have the China disease. We all have the China disease now. So, you know, you know, maybe he did try to act fast. You guys are just kind of being pussies about so, it. I don't know what to was, say. That was the most boring of the clips I'm showing you. Let's start turning up the fire in this kitchen. We're just at a low simmer. Mercy's going to lead us into the next nugget. Proposal. It's not what you've said, but and it's not what your is, party has said. That is simply your party a lie. doesn't say it. Your party that wants to go socialist medicine. My party is and me. socialist right healthcare. now. I am, and the they're going to dominate party. you, Joe. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> the Democratic Party right now. The platform of the Democratic Party Harris. is what I, in fact, approved of. What I approved of. Now, I am a man. It's literally what. It's a true crime stream. The, everything is converging to this one point. That's a true crime. It's just two people yelling at each other. Biden's talking. You just hear Trump in the background, just making comment side comments, belittling him. I can't. I wish I could remember you know what? what he Your just said. Your breath stinks. You're ugly. You're old. You're, you're forty. You're white. You failed. Every, right. Everything. Just people protesting. People fighting online. Everything is becoming the same thing. It's just all. Everything is a screaming match. It's. it's it, it's amazing because, like, back in the day, they used to – this was the formula back in the day. They would debate, go back and forth, and then they would have enough courtesy because every so often the debaters will look into the camera and say, my American people, you have to understand, and they'll go on a little bit of a spiel. And typically how, how it works is you have the courtesy to let that person do it because you're going to eventually address the audience directly and have your deep moment of clapping, you know? But it, he, Trump did not let Biden have it. Every time Biden was like – the American people have to understand that we're going to get through this together. Wrong. 
Not he's, with you, Sleepy he's, Joe. Not he's, with he's you. He's like, so just... he, he's so like ready to be petty. He doesn't even he doesn't even worry if people can hear him. Biden just oh, goes. He was I am, aggressive. He was I am aggressive. the Democratic Party. Trump goes not according to Harris as Biden is talking. Like you only hear it because you're trying to listen because they're talking over each other. <laughs> it's just like he's just getting in little jabs as you're just pontificating. I, it's not good. I think I know how to fix these debates. Because uh, one of the biggest problems is they're allowed to just not answer a question. Yeah. Just, like, run horseshit till the clock is down. And uh, that drives me insane. So if you refuse to answer a question, first strike is it costs you a million votes. You refuse to answer that same question again, now you've le- lost an electoral vote, one of, the, one of the big ones. Three times you refuse to answer, they just shoot you in the back of the head. And that's the end of it. Yeah, but they could just talk around the question. I like that's the not anymore. You do that three times, you're not fit to lead. You're not fit to breathe. <laughs> what I really like is that President Donald J. Trump says the Commander in Chief of the United States of America is when he said that 47 months. I did more than 47 years that Biden did. That's when I died. That was the best part. <laughs> I died too, John. That was fucking fantastic. Or the one you're smart. Don't call me uh, smart. Oh, already. that's coming up. That's don't spoil it. Let's keep going. Okay. I have I'm been urging my supporters to go into the polls and watch very carefully because that's what has to happen. I am urging them to do it. As you know, it was a problem in Philadelphia. They went in watch. They were they called watches. A very safe, very <laughs> nice thing. Watchers. They were thrown out. They weren't Hell allowed the to watch. Watcher. You know why? Because bad things happen in Philadelphia. Bad things. Oh, and I, am urging, <laughs> I am urging my people. I hope it's going to be a fair election. If it's a fair You're election, I am 100% on board. But see tens of thousands of ballots being manipulated. I can't go along with that. And I'll tell and what, you what, what does that from mean, a common sense, does that mean I'll you're tell you what it means. People to take to it the means screen? you have a fraudulent election. You're and sending you out 80 do, million ballots. They're not, they're not equipped to Damn. These people aren't equipped to handle it. Number one. Number I've two, they, they cheat. Get a package there they outside. cheat. They hey, they found ballots in a waste paper basket. Oh. Three days ago, and they all had the name all right. military ballots. They were military. Fine. They had the name Trump on them. Vice President you think Biden, that's good? Vice President Biden, final yeah, they just yeah. don't acknowledge anything he says. It goes final, final statement. What's the point of these fucking dumbass things? It, it doesn't make it. They should be longer. That's what I. We were watching. Oh. It, I remember going, "Oh shit, it's over!" Like, like with, with apology, can go on for three hours, but the debates go on for like an hour and a like half. Like Trump, you know? is, like I don't care what you think. Trump is actually referencing stuff that happened. We all saw on the news about that fucking waste fucking bin full well, of votes, me, and everyone's me, just like, "Oh, that didn't happen." Let's move on to the next. Let question call bullshit who do you think this? you're fucking fooling i don't think uh voter fraud mail exists in any kind of meaningful number well ian ellis i watched this project veritas documentary that really <laughs> convinced me <laughs> fucking uh, based i'm telling Sorry. you like the amount of ballots you would have to throw away here in Illinois to turn it from blue to red, it would be an ecological disaster. But what about you'd on be a Senate level? Up ballots, you'd be pulling them out of birds' nests. They'd be clogging up the sewers. You'd have to throw away millions of votes for it to have any kind of meaningful. But but vote. Ian, but Ian Ellis, what about this Somalian guy that I saw in his documentary that was going around his state and collecting all the ballots from old folks' homes and telling people he would deliver them for him? And was taking all the ones that were voting against that Iliad Omar Muslim girl and was throwing them literally on on Instagram being like, I got 300 ballots. I'm going to throw these in the trash. Got to make your money somehow. So it's like (laughs) on a Senate level, uh, on a state level, if you did that every day, you know what I mean? 300 a day, that adds up. That's how we get these crazy fucking 24-year-old women in office that have no business being in charge of a Starbucks. I know this. And <laughs> Ian, voted, in, Ian voted for Hillary Clinton. Let's not forget. Thank Listen, you for you, reminding you us. You act like the Democratic Party can call the post office into their office like the Illuminati and they're just sold. Ian, and I just told you. Went. It was a Somalian guy walking around <laughs> tricking old people. They've yeah. been doing it Ian, since Ian, the They 90s. are the Illuminati. What are you, what are you talking about? Oh, like the, they are the Illuminati. 
The post office? All I'm up. saying, if you're in Chicago, you vote twice when you're dead. Okay. There's, there's nothing you can do. It's just fucked and rigged. The chads fall apart. The computers well, are hacked. The, the, the city of Chicago is, is hella rigged. Yes, that is true. It's, yeah. There's no point even trying in Chicago. That's what I'm saying. I really thought that Joe would be the one saying he didn't want paper ballots. I'm a, I'm surprised in the table turn or the, the, the switch here. Yeah. No e-ballots. That's weird. Well, I'll tell you this much. I'm for Joe Booney, so... That's who I'm voting for. Oh, we got another clip. Do you want to see the highlight, the next oh, highlight? I think we got two more, and these are my favorites. This is where it gets real nasty. Voted for Hillary Clinton, Ian Ellis. I don't know. So did the Rue. And Louis C.K. About them being losers and, being, and, 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 and just being suckers. My son was in Iraq. He spent a year there. He got the, he got the Bronze Star. He got the Conspicuous Service Medal. He was not a loser. He was a patriot. And the people left behind okay. there were heroes. Really? And I resent really? talking like about Hunter. Are you talking about I'm Hunter? talking about my son, Bo Biden. You're talking I don't about know. Me. I don't know. I know Hunter. Yeah, I know. Hunter, got thrown, Hunter got thrown out of the military. He was thrown out, dishonor. Uh, That's not true. He wasn't dishonored. Cocaine use. use. He did be, 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 be. became vice president. Oh, that vice president. is true. He made a fortune in Ukraine, in China, in Moscow, oh, is and various not other places. True. He my made son, a fortune. Kind of my like, son. And he didn't have a job. My son. My son. Like a lot of people. <laughs> like a lot of people who went home. Had a problem. He's overtaken it. He's, he's, he's fixed it. He's worked on it. And I'm proud of him. But why was he <laughs> <my son? laughs> He's worked on it. He wasn't right. tens of millions of dollars. That is totally... That is totally... You've already been... Totally discredited. God Fine. damn, it's bad. Well, if you, if so you watch this and you have anything positive to say at all, at all, you're a fucking piece of shit. An asshole. I, I You're a fucking hope, douche. I uh. hope Don A is not voting for Donald Trump because he has crossed the line talking about Joe Biden's son. That's true. He, he Guys, he, guys, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I do want to respect the chat a bit. Uh, Bellin's homo voice in the chat seems to be a little upset. <laughs> what does he have to say? Uh, yeah. Dumbass Bellend. Well, what are you going to do? Oh, no. It, the one I got pulled up says, I'm a skater, but I'm conservative. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm Tim Pool. I'm Korean. That's pretty much my character now. I love that Joe Biden was so defeated. Like, this was the only time in the debate where he got, like, passionate and was pointing his finger and being all Malcolm X. And Guys, I'm just going to have a bite to eat. I'll be back. Okay, Joe. You and Kenny have a lot in common. Oh, don't uh, compare his... me to Kenny. That's an oh. Talk that talk, Joe. Talk that talk. Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Kenny, do you have anything to say about that? Oh. Finally. Thank you. Finally. I got to take a phone call. I'll be right back. All right, Kenny. See you later, buddy. Joe Maybe Biden later, finally gets some passion in his veins. The fucking adrenaline patch full of uh, whatever, like, Kids jism, whatever that shit is called. Adrenochrome. Sorry. His adrenochrome patch kicks in. He finally gets passionate. <laughs> Trump is like, By the way, your son's a loser. No, the one that did coke and got kicked out. And Joe's like, oh, well, you know, he did have his problems. And uh, he's, he's dealing with his problems. And he is kind of a loser. I'll give you that one. Again, it goes back God to this it, Joe, true crime shit. Punch that nigga dead in his face. You should have kicked over the podium. Don't you ever talk about my motherfucking son. <laughs> yeah, he would have got votes. <laughs> he would have flipped some of the Republicans probably. Jesus. All right, let's get back into it, should we? He should have taken we? off his belt. <laughs> Started snapping. Like, you want one of these? <laughs> like Grandpa <laughs> from Boondocks. <laughs> that, see, that, what about that? What about our presidential hopefuls fighting each other? What about that? Maybe if, like, I don't know, a second round of debates where it's like a physical confrontation. <laughs> well, right now they're both fighting COVID and old age. Uh, I don't know what they did to Joe Biden's chin there. It's the smoothest baby skin I've ever seen in my life. They, like, shaved it down to the molecules to make him look young. Yeah, they did. Look, at God damn it. He looks so, you're right, he looked like a clown or, like, the droopy dog. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so sad. Like, 
He looked really bad. He, he actually looked like more professional than the image I had in my head because I only see the like buffoonery clips. Uh, but it still didn't look good. He still looked like he didn't know where he was a couple of times. <laughs> Let's check it out. Oh, he's... Donald Trump. Both, King we've Betty. already been through this. I think the American people would. He said there's one more, right? Yeah. Yep. A lot of people die. And a lot more are die unless he gets a lot smarter, a lot quicker. So, uh, did you use the word smart? Uh, so you said you went to Delaware State, but you forgot the name of your college. You didn't go to Delaware State. You graduated to the lowest or almost the lowest in your class. Don't ever use the word smart with me. Don't ever use that word. Oh, give me a break. Because you know what? There's nothing smart about you, Joe. 47 years you've done nothing. Let's have this debate. And if you would have had, let me just tell you something, A 75-year-old man if you would have had. There's nothing smart about you, Two old men calling each other stupid. That's what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I did love the movie like Grumpy the... Old Men as a child. I would love to see them in a sitcom. I had to close the greatest... <laughs> Trying to live together as like an odd couple. <laughs> Joe and Trump used to run for election, but now they're splitting the rent. <laughs> Can you believe the leader of the free world? Just said, don't you ever use the word smart around me. Smart? Yeah, man. You don't even smart. know what school you, you fucking idiot. Get your fucking shine box. It was bad. That is an asshole Again. stomping. Jesus Christ, Donald, calm down. Joe Biden, you're a Jew slut. <laughs> that's all. That's worse one step away from that, though, because we already went cokehead. Son, We're, yeah, right cokehead. We're, We're right there. We're right there. Yeah. And that's 2024, bro. We're gonna be RDA is gonna be the Young Turks in 2024. Everyone's gonna come to us for the news. I bet. Just, the, just let me just know that I said it. I bet okay. that the uh, the next debate ends with Donald Trump going, "Okay, you know what? You know what? You said all that. You said all that. Answer me one question. Why are you sad to me, Joe? Why are you sad to me? <laughs> why are you sad to me, sir? You yeah, agreed upon the rules." <laughs> I'm just asking him a question. He said to me, is he said to you? He just said to me. I can see it. <laughs> okay, what do we have next in the grab bag? I mean, the history of our country. Oh, and by the way, now it's being built again. You see, and it's going up to the economy in the next segment, sir. Okay. It's going up fast. Okay. So, to I, when oh, I know what we got coming up next. <laughs> so <laughs> pause real quick. He didn't we, wait. Oh, wait, we got one more clip. Um, well, actually, uh, so I, I decided to watch this debate. I never watch any of this political shit. And no. I said, I, I'm going to give my view to PBS. I like them. I like that Bill Moyer. If anybody's yeah. getting my, my view and my stream time, it's PBS. So hey, immediate- guys, I'm sorry to interrupt. This is behind, but I got to respect chat again. Cynthia talking about Biden getting his son made fun of goes the wrong son died. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> which again, we're, we're one foot in the door of Trump saying that or, 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 Tom, or Tom's comment, which is Biden. You get no pussy. <laughs> the 40 and white Ford spouse died. 80 and white lost at life. Um, so immediately following the debate, we meet PBS's crack commentary team. And I just, I just clipped their introduction just so you could see who is analyzing this spectacle that we just uh, we just witnessed. We now turn to the true crime sector of news. Criticized the, the vice president for not specifically calling out Antifa and other oh, left wing extremist right. groups. But are you what's wrong? Oh, this is not it. Oh, we, we got a whole lot of stuff in between. I forgot. Yeah. Donald Trump mentions by name the Proud Boys. And as a result, Dante Nero was on CBS News the next morning. So let's watch Trump talk about the Proud Boys, and then let's watch Dante on CBS News. I didn't know this happened. This is amazing. Is CEO is he still here? Yeah. Damn it, where's CEO? I'm right. I, yeah. okay. oh sorry, sorry. I couldn't see you were in the back. I couldn't see Guys, you. our <laughs> fucking world is being involved in the real world. This is fucking gay. This guy it. has called me over a dozen times. <laughs> He's cried on the phone with me. That's yeah, can I, he cried on the phone with me. 
I, I just wanted the CEO to call into that news show he was on and go, guys, tell him to stop. I can't handle the trolling anymore. God, I, I, just, I just can't handle the troll no more. CBS viewers may have YouTube searched and watched the documentary Dante, Mother, a documentary. You know what was great about that shit, though? I really love Dante Nero because he provides his own stock footage because it says Dante Nero up in the corner where it goes <laughs> towards. They gave him the B-roll. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't have and he uses the same clips over and over and over again. Yeah, I got some B-roll with me. Yeah, you got you got a 8 gigabyte drive. Yeah. I got a thumb drive. And yeah. I email it to you. I work, I work at AT&T. Why are you Verizon? He says the exact same things over and over again in every one of these fucking interviews with the news. Yeah, yeah once it started turning into that thing, I just couldn't do it no more. When it's it a big fuck are you talking about? Whenever it started to become majority majority Cuban and Mexicans, I had to get out of there. He's talking yeah. to the tech guy at the news station, and he's like, yeah, I can upgrade your whole system. <laughs> Let me bring Verizon. He's, like, yeah, he's, he's, contracts, low key. he's trying to get contracts. Yeah, while well, he's at fucking Fox or whatever. He gets like a hundred dollars <laughs> a line. He can flip a whole building. Yeah, I got a pyramid scheme. I like to get you to look like you don't get a lot of pussy. Can I help you get some pussy? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about the news is like they don't ever look more than one level deep because it's like it like. Dante, like they, like they, they, they fucking market it like, oh, Dante is this guy who's been, a, uh, he was used by the Proud Boys or whatever. But it's like, yeah, but like Dante is also a piece of shit. <laughs> Why yeah, is that part gay, never? Included? He was a gay stripper. Why is that never a part of the Proud they Boys? They had a gay like stripper he, a part of them. He left and went into like witness protection, and he's like an FBI informant. Yeah, that's what they make it seem. <laughs> Dante Nero from a remote location. I'm hiding from the Proud Boys and Gavin. <laughs> okay, let's. So we, so we see the Proud Boys drop yeah, right here. I don't even return Gavin's calls no more. <laughs> He's out of my five. <laughs> 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 what Used to be my friend. That's how fucking hilarious. I had my mic open, but I was fucking crying. Out of my five. <laughs> Out of my five. Gay strippers are based. Okay, okay. Let's go. <laughs> and militia groups sure. and to say that they need to stand down and not add to the violence in a number of these cities, as we saw in Kenosha and as we've seen in Portland. Sure, Are you I'm prepared to, to do specifically that, do it? Well, I, go would ahead, say, I would say almost everything I see is from the left wing, not from the right so wing. So what, what, you you what are you saying? I'm, I'm willing to do anything. I want to see well, peace. Then do it, sir. Say it. Okay. Do it. Say it. Why is, the, the, why is the moderator interrupting him and arguing with him? He's talking. Like, like, when has any politician ever gotten straight to the point? Ask him the question and let him do his little Donald fucking talk. Donald Trump is fighting the whole world at one time. Me against the world. He's the Tupac of And coronavirus. Yeah, this nigga is fighting everyone. Everyone? Everyone. The moderator asked him, can you say you denounce white supremacy? Easy, easy alley-oop question. <laughs> Trump decides to evade this for whatever fucking reason. That makes absolutely no sense to anybody. And it reminds me of the Chris Rock bit where they, like they tried to humanize Michael Jackson and they're like, Do you think it's okay to sleep in bed with little children? Yes. <laughs> so let's watch Donald Trump not be able to denounce white supremacy. You want to call him what do you want to call him? Give me a name. Give me a white name. White supremacist and right Would you like me to condemn White supremacist and right Stand back and stand by. But I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Somebody's got to do something I'll about Antifa and the left. Because this is not a right. Yeah, he should have started with, well, fuck white supremacy, obviously. And people like the Proud yeah. Boys and Preacher Bears. Quit being No, spurred. man. Man, come on, man. We love the Proud Boys. <laughs> Guys. No, no, we don't. He's Guys, not, how did we get here? How did this happen? He's Nick not, was the first. The guy that the first started with apologies was the first Proud Boy 
and now it's being talked about on the presidential debate. How did we get here? <laughs> Someone, we were doing yeah, shows you, about wait, hold on. Proud Boys in 2015 making fun of them. How did we get here? Are you saying that Nick had one of those gay shirts like on delivery as Gavin was talking about he the crew? He had the polo, the <laughs> yellow and black polo. He made patches, no wank patches. Um, oh, God. Dante Nero started the Proud Boys by by making the proposition of no wanks and became the Pope of the Proud Boys after I relaunched his career. Which was only possible because I uploaded all of the Black Phillip episodes and gave him a resurgence. So what the fuck did we do? Ian, Ian, okay, guys, you always wondered why the show is called With Apologies, right? Can everyone guys, just take a we second? We are so sorry. I'm sorry. I did not mean for any of this shit to happen. I apologize <laughs> for the Proud Boys. I'm we sorry. Did I did not know. I denounce white supremacy. I didn't know that a YouTube channel about a black comedian would lead to starting a white supremacist terrorist organization. I'm sorry. Okay? <laughs> I didn't mean for it to happen. You guys radicalized Nick. Let's be honest. <laughs> we radicalized yeah. a lot of people. You know, I made a, a documentary about South Park this week, and I left in a snippet of uh, Atheism is Unstoppable. Because uh, you never want to. Of miss, course, you did. You never want to miss a chance to radicalize someone to white supremacy. And I'm sorry, I I didn't mean to expose you to that information. Everybody, calm it down. All right, I'm calm. You want to ask a real question? How about who is Joe Booney? How about you tell me that, Mister Moderator? <laughs> That's what he should be saying. I can't Why believe we knew really like this is. This is you knew who? I, like I can't believe we actually knew, like knew like one of like the first five. <laughs> knew him? Didn't you live with him? Yeah, man. And now look where it is. Like like one of like, the founding fathers is gone. You guys, uh, you you can't say we didn't try to stop it. We did everything in our power to rescue Nick, to take down Dante. We tried. We tried to warn you. Once we figured it out, we tried to let you know. That's true. I mean, you were the you were kicking and so I had to drag you kicking and screaming to hating Dante. And look at us now. All right, <laughs> let, let, let's, let's let's stay can, with this. Yeah, let's get to it. It's a left FBI wing. direct. It's a left wing guy on left. white supremacist. Antifa is an idea, not an organization. Oh, you got it. Not kidding. malicious. That's what his okay. FBI, his FBI, his okay. FBI director Gentlemen, said. Well, <laughs> I feel you, Mersh. I was yeah, like okay. Portland and Kalamazoo, yeah. Michigan. You have to be a Western chauvinist. The group was founded in 2016 by Vice Media co-founder and self-described provocateur Gavin McInnes, who was up in and Dante. violence. We beat the crap out of them. We're not going to pick fights, but if they pick fights with us, we're going to finish them. Former members say it's <laughs> Yeah, he, of course he's wearing the horn. Hold on. He's wearing the, the same shirt he was wearing the last time we made fun of him and said he looked like a candy corn. He look <laughs> He's on he like CBS. He's on CBS in the Beige Phillips studio. <laughs> now, these are two brothers that are doing brotherly things to each other. I, it's a subtext thing of like, yeah, we black, yeah, I'm black. <laughs> All right, let's watch it. Which has provided cover for white supremacism. It evolved into this other thing. Comedian Dante. Look, look at the top right, left corner. <laughs> See that? Bro, and I went he on the Facebook his own page and there was all this racist stuff on the Facebook page. They deny that they are white supremacists. There's not too many racists and white supremacists that actually admit to being white supremacists. <laughs> you think he's in the back with the editor? And you go, Could you put in a clip of me at Gotham at the comedy? Yeah. Or I'm going to be on the stage. I want everyone to know. Same her. thing that, that that is always used, and that's the. That's the first time I noticed that it's been provided by Dante. His cheeks, <laughs> his cheeks are swollen like he's been eating bumblebees. He's got you know dumpy in the chair. He looks like Winnie the Pooh. He does. It's Xi Jinping over there. <laughs> I do I do feel a bit of like relief and like catholicism, whatever, whatever you would say. 
from Dante having to go on all these shows. Like he can't feel he's not proud right now. Let's just say that. No, he he's definitely he's not proud. He doesn't want to be this guy. No, he's bragging about it. I no, he's it. happy though that he's on CBS. Right? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. That guy has something to do at CBS this morning. You know, he told everybody he met. Oh, yeah. I, I've actually been doing some keynote speaking on uh, the history <laughs> of black culture. If we could plug that, look at his Fu Manchu, his completely white facial hair that he refuses to shave off. I know, oh, right? I didn't even notice it. Now I'm looking. He doesn't want to let it go. Away from being starved from Cumtown. Oh fuck! Come on, Dante. You need to work on that. You can get some just for men or something. Anyway, hold on. Let's. You think President Trump is speaking their it language? Like Absolutely. It's on their website. You see how they played him? They probably interviewed him for like an hour, and you just got three seconds of clips. And they're like, Dante, are they definitely racist? Absolutely. And that was the end of the segment. So oh, look, up, a buffalo and a baby buffalo. Sorry. Coming up here, we have footage of the new baby. Dante has been posting videos of him being dead. Yeah. And uh, I, I don't want to pick on the baby. That's a little crass. But if you pay attention, it looks like he might be a bowler. Uh, he seems to have a wrist guard of some <laughs> sort, like he's the top of his league. He's got a bowling shirt and a couple of trophies, and also, yeah, guys, don't be crass and make fun of a baby on the internet. But now, if you're you're a comedian and there's a retarded kid in the back of the comedy club, have all at it, guys. Well, Let's watch as this. we predicted, the baby's like playing with his earring, sucking on it. <laughs> the elephant, uh, um, tusk. Oh my god. Daddy, what is this shit? Son, that belongs to the museum. Daddy, what the fuck did you do to your ear? Daddy, why does it say Plow Boy on your neck? Daddy, daddy, what the fuck <laughs> is this? Why do I look like a Wano McDonald baby? <laughs> what is that thing on his wrist? Did Dante break his arm? <laughs> Hold on, let me see. I was blessed oh, him and he got buckled <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the baby has a wrist thing? Oh! Yeah, the baby's got a wrist thing. It's like him and Spider-Man. He's got like an action shooter. <laughs> he must have came out with one of those curvy arms. What Guys, maybe a curvy, curvy arm. Arms? I'm resident maybe. chat respecter today. Okay. <laughs> Some people are upset that we're including the baby in this and making fun of him. Oh, we call him a little buffalo and a uh, McDonald's baby. Come on, guy. Or a little baby bison. is cute and healthy and wonderful. Yeah. We don't want anything bad to happen to the baby. No. Dante posted this and we're teasing him, but we love the baby. We, we want nothing but love for the baby. And if you true crime fans don't like it, then get the fuck out of here. Keep making fun of this dumb baby. Is one day going to watch these videos. <laughs> probably come to murder us. Tom raises a good point. This video makes people sympathetic to Dante. What's up? We don't want to do that. My bad. Tom says that this makes people oh, sympathetic to Dante, and, and we sh we should try to avoid that. <laughs> Based on the footage he's posted, I'm gonna guess that baby doesn't live with him. Yeah, you live oh. with your mother. I gotta watch I the podcast just... coming up. I don't have time for you to be here every day. Ian is actually. I have the most him for Instagram part time. I've I know, never met so anyone brilliant. more vile than Ian Ellis, but he, he, he figures he out. He made fun of a retarded just... kid. He, he made fun of that retarded kid at a comedy show, and now he's saying, D I don't want to make fun of a baby. That'd be crass, is the word. Well, he, he lets us all call him a gay turtle, so I mean, it's I guess it's fair. You know, I was thinking today, what if Donnie's kid isn't special needs? What if it was trans? And with Donnie was like, oh, trans, why? It doesn't know if it's, it's retarded. Hey, honey. Hey, honey, guess what? We no longer have five beautiful girls. We got four beautiful girls and a potato. Yeah, it doesn't know what it is. Yeah, it's fucking retarded now. It's retarded. I'm sorry, Donna. That's that's I no ill will. It's just for funny. No. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. We, there's no will. <laughs> so I, I see we got a news clip coming up next, Ian. So now we're going to cut to the women of PBS who are going to be covering this. And I just want to introduce you to the reasonable adults of the world. Okay. Ian watches PBS. 
football will be in the audience in person tonight on the campus of Case Western Reserve University, which is co-hosting the event with the Cleveland Clinic. The moderator is Fox News' Chris Wallace. We at the News Hour are practicing social distancing while I am broadcasting from our studio. Our reporters and our analysts will join us remotely. That's White House correspondent Namish Alcindor. We have Alcindo, angry black Our lady? congressional correspondent uh, Lisa Desjardins, who's covering the Biden campaign. Senior national correspondent Indian Amna Navaz, who will be watching the debate with a half a dozen voters from around the country. Amy Walter of the Cook. Oh, Club God, who is that? <laughs> we got like the Joker or something. Hold on. Let me go back real fast. I just want to go back real fast. We have Rachel Maddow's mother. Social distancing. <laughs> God damn it. I, I went too far. From our studio, our reporter. Reasonable person. Senior <laughs> correspondent Amna Navaz will be watching Adam's the older sister You're from Gumtown. Get out of there. Amy Walter of the Cook Political Jesus Report. Christ. Oh, she does look Washington. like the Joker. She yeah, looks like Bill Maher. <laughs> to, uh, young Bill Maher. I want yeah. my hair to look even. like a spooky witch. Jesus. I just, it, it's, uh, she looks like something I can't put my finger on and it really bugs me. God damn it. Okay, let me... A dyke? <laughs> She's a reasonable person. And an old white man, of course. Oh, by the way, by the way, guess what? Guess what? I just typed her name into Wikipedia, went to the bottom of the page, LGBT journal. How did I know? How did I know? Well, I was kind of, yeah. I didn't expect her to, you know, be a conservative uh, newspaper right, columnist. Well. This next girl looks like a chicken hawk. What do you think she stands for? Pedophilia, I hope. <laughs> <laughs> and joining us live from Epstein Island. Our ethnically ambig ambiguous lady. Oh, shit, what the fuck? Sorry, I should have looked up. It's Lady Tucker in Alabama. We welcome to all of you, and we're going to ask... Oh, it's okay, Marsh. If Joe Biden... Oh no, what's that? Oh shit, is this conspiracy time, Ian? Camspiracy? This, this is about a minute long of camspiracy. Um, it's rumored Joe Biden was wearing a wire that uh, he has a flesh colored thing in his ear that was feeding him lines. Uh, there, there was a big deal about the thing on his wrist, and they were showing a picture of it on these YouTube clips, but none of them zoomed in. So I did this magic thing you can do on any smartphone where I zoomed in with my fingers. Like I was spreading some pussy lips. <laughs> it's very clearly just like a clear band-aid with some blood in it. So get the fuck out of here with your prayer beads and your whatever <laughs> fucking... Why would he have a mic in his wrist? They're watching and televising the debate. The person on the other end knows everything that's happening. What was in his ear, though? Was that this the band-aid with well, the that, blood? He's 75 years old. It could have been a hearing aid or it could have been, uh, Joe, 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 uh, bring up uh, to vote. People snapping their fingers. Joe! Joe, bring up the wall. Smile. You didn't even make the wall. Smile and not. All right. Come on, guys. Now take a hit of weed and get ready for a camspiracy. Biden <laughs> has been wearing an earpiece during this debate. Now, this may sound far-fetched to a lot of people. And there Hang has on. been some debates going all around on the... Uh-oh. Look at these photos. It definitely looks like Joe Biden has one of his ears covered up, perhaps by some prosthetic or makeup, but either way, it definitely looks like his one. What the fuck is that wrist thing? Is that like a Morse code fucking thing? It's a moment to Wait. I guess so. I mean, yeah. What would he? What messages or? Yeah. Thinking, yeah. Why would he be wearing a microphone? It's live. You don't need a microphone. There's one in the podium. What the fuck, Joe? <laughs> Let's just use the one in the podium. Also, they agreed to be patted down for electronics, and before the debate, apparently Joe said he refused to be patted down. Nah. Uh, I am the one who likes to put my hands on people. Not the other way around. I feel like they pulled the skin to the back of his neck and put a clothespin on it. And then they throw oh. some heavy-duty nicotine patches on him and just spin him out there. Uh, he stimulated somehow. There's no way he get, he was just off coming off normal energy. Oh, oh, he said the wrist thing. Rex said the wrist thing shocks him to keep him awake. <laughs> I, I must have kept one of these ladies in here, and I believe it's addressing the problem. What's up, guys? Proud of our boys, Joe. 
and Joe. We're Uhuru. talking about the Cowboys. Uhuru. I have never had a sandwich like that. White supremacist. He said, quote, proud boys, stand back and stand by. I also want to do a quick Whoa. fact check, Judy, because that stand was- Stand by. No, he didn't, no, he didn't say that. He did. He, did, he, did, he doesn't support uh, white supremacists. I feel like he was just saying something off the cuff, like stand down. He said the left. It's more the left wing. Joe, what do you think of the Proud Boys, Joe? Do you know who they are? Of course, well. And that's all I can say. And it's hard to convince people that they're Proud Boys when, like, they're half of them are Mexican. Like, half of the Proud Boys. Go look it up on Instagram. Go type I'm in Proud Boys. Proud person, hashtag, you know? hashtag Proud Boys on Instagram and see how many Hispanics yeah, you see. Yeah, I'm proud, it's, too. But, but Joe, you do, do, you, like, do you know what they do? Are, are you aware of, like, that they're, like, pretty much the Antifa of the, yes. the Republican Party? Okay, just making sure. But this is what I don't understand. Okay, he said it multiple times. He does not support white supremacists. He doesn't want white supremacists. But then the left like to come in and they like to – Make all these claims that President Trump did this all the, all these years. This is why there's a lot of racists in America in today's day. Well, I think it's more of the left one, like you said. Joe Booney, can I tell you something? Yeah. I'm sorry. Joe Booney, I accidentally, with Ian Ellis, we started the Proud Boys. It wasn't on purpose, but we're I'm, sorry. You don't need to, you never ever say sorry to me. You never say sorry to me. Are you saying that I'm not a bad person, Joe? You're not you a bad person. My Thank you, Joe. You're not a bad person. You're you have no person. idea how badly I needed to hear that. You yeah. need to be resolved. Yeah, we've all made some mistakes in our past. Bellin, you're a handsome, sexy guy, and you're going to go far. Okay? Don't ever, now, ever say so. Joe, much. I'm putting that in my Tinder profile bio. Just know that. I'm quoting you. You want to know what my Tinder bio says? Let me hear it, Joe. Let me read it. Where's my phone? Guys, I didn't intend for this bit to yeah. happen, but I'm yeah. glad it is. Yeah. Let's see. Where is it? Where's my Tinder bio? Joe Booney cleaning up on Tinder, I bet, with the Gucci suit. Oh, yeah. It's actually the one with the picture right now, you see, actually. So I say. You should never regret anything in life. If it's good, it's wonderful. If it's bad, it's experience. Alhamdulillah. Thanks to everyone. <laughs> Listen, and I'll take I your- I think that's going to send a mixed message, Joe, on a dating app. And then it says, I'll take any beautiful girl out for a nice two one half inch of ribeye steak with a glass of milk. Okay. Well, you cleared it up with the second half. The first half was kind of- Oh, if it feels good, it's a good experience. If it's bad, it's experience. I know what you meant. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I love that. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that with you. Guys, okay. now if you add that right there in your uh, Tinder bio, yeah. you're definitely going to get some poon. Joe, now, Joe, I feel like you're sending a mixed message. It sounds like you're going to give them your two-inch steak. Yeah, you need to make a bigger <laughs> steak, homie. 12-inch <laughs> steak. <laughs> Uh, not, uh, uh, Tinder's not, uh, what's the word? Uh, I got not the best luck on there, if you want to say. Uh, I've met some people on there I've talked to, uh, but hasn't gone anywhere, really. You know, there's one I was talking to uh, going back a couple months ago, but she's uh, she's back in Ottawa. She's doing some schooling up there. She's taking law and all that. Stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Joe. Joe, can you pull open your phone, and we're going to rewrite your bio right now? Okay, yeah. let's see. Let's reopen it. Here we go. <laughs> Yes, what do you want me to say? I'm ready. Just add your Snapchat. That's what Bellin taught me a while back. Wait. Just add your Snapchat uh, name in there. Are you guys waiting on me? I was respecting chat. I hope I didn't miss a cue. Yeah, oh, you so did. right you in there. Me. Right in there, just looking for fun, even a good dinner. Yeah. Joe, you have a Snapchat, right? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. Oh is yeah, your, put your is, Snapchat screen name in there, Joe. Trust me. Joe, it was just, the best advice Bellin gave me. Just write Snapchat at and your Snapchat username, and you uh, won't even I have to. What was that? Should I take out the other thing? You should never do anything. No, more. no, leave in the no, leave that. No, leave no, that. No, 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 I am the telling very, you. Stop, 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 make stop. the very top thing your Snapchat at. Okay. okay. I'm telling you, let's erase that line because it's confusing and weird, and let's write something. It's actually going to give Joe some game here. 
In, in, you pretend anyone reads the bios. Just put the Snapchat name in the bio, Joe. Yeah, Ian hasn't used a dating website since like oh, ten years. George Bush was the fucking president. <laughs> so he's not going to give you good advice. Maybe you were the guys who are going to get Joe Booty somebody. Maybe you guys. That would be history. It would be. You know? Well, Joe, you know, women aren't looking for a lot of commitment, they, but they just want to have fun. They want to be invited to the party. They're bored. Yeah, women are bored. They're just looking for someone exciting. Yeah. So you should write on there, I am a, a professional sports broadcaster. I am a professional. This is amazing. This is history. This is going to go in the documentary. <laughs> yeah, you damn right it is. <laughs> professional. Professional. Professional sports broadcaster. Looking for a heart of gold and a big smile. I like that. I like that. This is why I like you, Ian. Things like this, sir. You and then you to... just you just leave it simple at that. And see what happens. Just an experiment. You change it back later if you want. Next week you'll tell us how many how many uh swipes you got or whatever they have on that. Oh, they keep swiping up. Upgrade eight ninety nine a month, nine nine nine. No, thank you, man. I'm just on there just. You know, I had it for a while, but I've re-uploaded some photos on there. I've gotten some likes and dislikes. That's all. Hey, right. if you get a date, if you get a good dinner, then it's all worth it, right, Joe? Joe, I know you're a, you're a respectful man with a with a lot of self discipline, and I want to say, just walk, don't run. You know, wait yeah. for the right one, because there's going right. to be a lot of them. Especially as you start to get famous, they're going to be throwing themselves at you. Especially when the Netflix documentary comes out, boy. Boy. Be the I don't know, uh, you, know, like, you know, I always say to myself, you know, I'm not going to be chasing. They can come chase me. I chase yeah, me. Joe, it's the Jordan Peterson method. Yeah. For real. Seriously, because there's a lot of guys, a lot of girls, they like to chase each other. Don't chase anybody. When it's your time to come, it comes, you know, it's like commitment. You got to commit yourself to something, right, in your life? Amen, Joe Booney. Amen. Joe I want to ask you a question. You might think it's a little inappropriate, but I just want you to know if you don't want to answer it, just say no comment. But yeah. I do want to ask you a question, Joe. You've yeah. done a sports show for many, many years now. You've been on different networks. You've done this. You've done that. You've brushed shoulders with greatness. You must have fans, right? You have tons of fans that write you and they wish you birthday messages. Have I you do. ever, Joe Booney, have you ever gotten – unsolicited naked pictures from a fan i'm just curious i have i have i have guys god is good allah is good everything have, is right uh, with the world joe booney's getting nudes joe booney's getting news. Joe booney's getting news. Guys, you know what this is what, we can end the show right now what's really uh funny every time i go out who comes and attacks the mothers not not the daughters the mothers always the 30 or 40 year old i never get a 25 26 it's always the mom that like the booty believe you know? <laughs> the booty with believer that. Uh -oh. bringing in the cougars i love this so i told i told somebody once many people whoever gets the booty believer they will never ever forget that day that will be history for them you know that's right uh, you know, so we like, like the shot heard around the world sorry go ahead part of that problem might be the you with your mustache can look a bit older, like you're in your 40s. So you got to make sure your pictures are those sexy pictures you take, where you're making kissy lips with your shirt off. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't have those anymore. Actually, there was one actually going back a couple of years ago when my mustache when I was doing the Vaseline. Remember the Vaseline? I still have one photo actually. My, the Vaseline. My, no yeah, the Vaseline one. Remember the one you guys put on the Ian Ellis LLC? The one I was in the washroom. Hello guys, I had the Trump 2016 on. I was curling my mustache up. <laughs> now, yeah, yeah, that one. Let's get back into this grab bag because it's pretty long. CEO, are you still there? I think we lost him. No, he's there. CEO. But thank you for the advice, Ian Ellis. I really appreciate it. It's your player. CEO. You got this, Joe. You're the main. I hear him breathing. CEO, wake up. I'm concerned about his health, actually. Oh, he's Someone all stole part. all the chicken. What are we gonna do? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna give no, nope, but guys, if that didn't work. It's he's done. He's done for the he's night. Out. Whoa, what's up? They're giving away free chicken down the street from CEO's house. Crazy. CEO, I I hope you don't quit because I believe Cameron Esposito is coming up next. 
No, it's not what's up next, but it's an, it's an, I was going to ask CEO, CEO, you know, what's popular on black Twitter is they love the, the parody of black, uh, the Simpsons. It's a very popular like thing on YouTube and stuff. And it's kind of old, but they were very popular. How about maybe we take something classic and we give it a Jamaican flair. How about that, Ian? That, that's. Sounds like a blockbuster idea. Gotta tell jokes. Oh shit! My my bad. That's a fucking one video ahead. Never mind. This is Cameron Esposito's. Uh, this is that lady's son, right? From the last video. My bad. No, I, I have forty-two just, uh, liters of Dr Pepper and no one to share it with. I I was just in the bathroom <laughs> taking a shit. She CEO, how do you feel about Cameron Esposito? I love Cameron Esposito. I really think she did great in that movie where she played Kevin Bacon. I thought it was awesome. <laughs> she was great in Hollow Man. <laughs> <laughs> she looks like the 90s Saved by the Bell. Uh, she should be standing next to a locker. She was oh. great in A Few Good Men as like the other lawyer. I thought that was... a. Uh, a good one too. Uh, Cameron is gay, but she was always really cute. Everybody no. had, had a crush on her, but I don't know if she's going trans. I don't oh, know. Oh, she's, she's like going trans. Wheels, but she, she seems to be morphing into a young twenty-year-old gentleman. Yeah, she seems she halfway looks, there because her eyebrows are like still thin, like, like a woman, but her hair is like a twenty-two-year-old's hair. She Sorry. she she looks like Zach Morris, <laughs> like a like she's so so like vampire Bell. movie. Oh, I can't remember it's the next Twilight. Hell yeah, that's what it is. Those tits she are knew. gone. They're just gone. Boxy shoulders. She got a better chin than me. She's a better looking dude than I am. Yeah, it's true. That's oh, true. Right. Let's check her out. Him out. And local theater. Let me teach you how to help jokes. And help support a local theater. Uh, Holy shit. Uh, no. So Cameron Esposito, a hard time. Her. She's now teaching comedy classes. I, I want to punch her. Can you in imagine the you show face. up? Show up to her comedy class, you specifically. Okay, I've got my LGBT packets here. Uh, where we're gonna start with pronouns today. Then we're gonna finish with sensitivity, but I swear it's gonna get funny, guys. <laughs> none of these fucking comedians. In in none of your contemporaries are funny. How does that make you feel? Nick Mullen is great. He has very poor mental health. No, 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 no. no. I said in. Him. Ian, I said your contemporaries. <laughs> Who are Not guys con- younger than you. Who are my contemporaries? Yeah, the Cameron Esposito, fucking Ronald Butcher, uh, Dante <laughs> Nero. Gallagher. Yeah, Gallagher. Mitch Hedberg. Uh, Jesus. I would love to meet Dante Nero. <laughs> Hell yeah, Joe Booney. We are oh, That's what I'm talking about. What is what was the six hundred dollar package called? The the top ten? My top ten <laughs> was something. My five. That was my five. My golden five. Yeah. My I, I you should do we should do a thing where you visit New York and he gives you a tour. Oh, like he did in the yeah. temp mobile with you? I because would rather I, do a thing where I rent out like a big bus with the windows rolled down and I pick up tourists and I drive him to in front of Dante's house and we just wait for him to walk out and, pho- and photograph him like he is a buffalo. Oh, and well, we just do the Dante Nero fun. safari. My dream was always that Joe Booney would have a show like an like a Idiot Abroad where he just travels the country with like Kenny TV and we just document them experiencing all of the greatest things in the world. Well, that will happen. That will happen. And New York, and Dante can give you a tour in New York as you go is he, across. Is he pretty, New pretty, pretty famous? I don't know. He, he's famous in parts of the world. Is he? He's famous for a lot of different reasons. To a lot he's of fam- Yeah, no, here's yeah. the thing. None of the reasons why he's famous are... The reasons he wants to be famous. 
Because I've heard people say he's a good person. Oh, he's he's the furthest thing from a good person, Joe. Is he? Oh. Not the best. People he like threw a ball. bitch down a staircase. <laughs> he threw a hot Crazy. sauce in her eye. Crazy. He he. A hey, that's not me. That those are his words, not mine. He's the pimp hog. Dante, yeah, I like the that guy that many, that many times, Dante Nero. I like that name. It's a nice name. Yeah, yeah he's, a, he's not a good guy. He pretends like he is, but he's not. Oh. Joe Booney's just a big Devil May Cry fan. It's just coincidence. It's very frustrating when you try to Google Dante and all that anime shit comes up. Like, yeah, no, I was about no, to say that buffalo. that joke that joke was very inside for anyone that's ever Googled Dante. Hey, uh, ba- uh, Balan, send me your uh, email. Huh? I will uh, DM you on Discord, Joe, yeah. after the show. Discreetly. All right, what do we got next, Ian? Ian? Apparently, I don't know. I'm not even sure anymore. All right. CEO, there might be some Jamaican humor coming your way. You're you're kind of the target demographic for jokes like this. Uh, I guess so. Like Mexican jokes and Carlos Mencia, you know? Hey, guys, oh, I just had an idea <laughs> for your Carlos. And the idea is, instead of Martin Scorsese's The Irishman, what if he made Martin Scorsese's The Irie Man, you know? And it was, in, it was just a, it was a Jamaican movie. And you what get Robert fuck? De Niro, Al Pacino, Joe Pesci. You get the whole gang back together. But this time you said it in Montego, Montego Bay, Jamaica. And, you know, they're pawning the marijuana. They're pawning the facial de-aging technology. Um, and I don't know. I'm sorry if that. Adam was so proud of that bit. That he did it on the show. And Adam, I don't care. I, I would I would watch it. <laughs> no, I, I'm, no, I'm not gonna hate on him. I would I'd watch it. I don't care. <laughs> I just don't know why Ian Ellis wants me to hate this kid so badly. <laughs> yeah, it, it 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 seems kind of malicious. Because don't get me wrong, when you show me these things, I do hate him. I'm not yeah, saying I, I hate don't hate him. Come but down. why do he seems down, like such yeah, a bumbling yeah. buffoon. He seems like he got such a lucky gig, bro. He must suck Nick Mullen's dick so fucking good. I don't oh, understand yeah. what the relationship is there, but yeah, well, he, he doesn't add anything. No, well, is he there? Like is he there, Nick? CEO? Are they playing a long con yeah. where the show is the jokes on you? You're our fool. Is that? Which is, by the way, I'm not Nick. If you're listening, CEO did that. That wasn't my idea. What are you talking? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Well, CEO's an asshole. Jesus, Nick's his real life friend. Come but down. I look know. forward to having these conversations in five years. They've announced that this is the last year of the show. Now, they've was... done this several times in the past, so it may not really be the end. But uh, Adam is planning to move to France so he can be a surfer. What, why would you move to France to be a fucking so like wouldn't you move to Hawaii or Australia? <laughs> you move to France. <laughs> they what's even the have of, waves? What's the point of surfing if you can't be pretentious about it. Yeah. Yeah, but what why like do they even have fucking waves? Yeah, you ever, you ever ride the curve of Le Pupu I've I've never heard of surfing in France. I don't think they know what fuck surfing is. It has to be the coldest water you've ever touched in your life. I yeah, it's like to be ice. You come out and there's snails all over your surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> your fucking frogs are flying through the air and smacking you in the face. Now, CEO, I don't know if you can look at the screen right now, but I see merch. Oh, there's so- oh yeah, you're gonna see a little bit more. You're gonna see some intensity, and you're gonna see someone who's gonna demand you look at him. Okay, so check it out. Be ready to get scared, guys. All right. <clears throat> Is it Cameron Esposito? Few people know me. <laughs> you know what I mean, like it's it's like a rainbow on the internet. Like, yeah. Dude, you are, dude. I can't stand how Mersh wears firearm hats like from like gun companies. Look, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> I'm looking at you. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> it looks like Ian Ellis. I feel like it's worth another <laughs> it <looks> like <laughs> <Ian Alex. laughs> 
It does. He looks like a, a young Ian Ellis a little bit. Look me in my crooked eye. Yeah. yeah. Look me in my eye. I know. One I more know. time. I feel like it deserves a replay. He can move his eyes independently of each other. It's amazing to me. I can't figure out which one is wonky. None of you people know. I think they, you know they it's it, it's his, 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 his right eye is the wonky one. He's a gecko. It's insane. You know who you are, dude. Am I? Am I? Am I? Test me, I say? Look, look at me. Look at me. <laughs> yeah, what fucking matter to you? Jesus <laughs> Christ. Who made that? That's the funniest shit ever. Who made that? Did you make that, Ian? I pulled it off of the r slash merch subreddit. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> God. Look at me. Points at his eyes. I've never seen him cross that bad before. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's a bad time to do that. He said, look he at does. me so authoritatively. One of the eyes tried to look at the other. That's <laughs> the whole thing is, like, Merch should be looking at you, and he'd be looking at where your holster is for your gun. At the same time, you can't you can't, you can't quick draw. Oh, Rango! I, <laughs> Rango I got my say, eye on you. That's how he survived in the old west. Oh, guys! All right, now, CEO. I believe you thought about joining the navy right didn't you for a little while think about uh, maybe? yeah i signed all like all the paperwork and then i just never showed up well you know there's guys out there in this world they got war stories you know and i think we yeah. got one coming up here maybe this is our headline event uh, if there's time we'll watch Arana after this but this can be quite long we may have to skip ahead at parts this is sure. a story of how kyle joined and got kicked out of the navy I don't care how he joined. I just want to hear how he got kicked out. And, well, then we should skip to like the last three minutes. Yeah. Okay, well, you, well, you can tell me. Let's get, hold on. Let it run now for a second. And you then you make can enjoy yeah. how he starts Let's, the question I get it. Oh, sober right. and then trails <laughs> off into oblivion and blackoutness like halfway through his answer. Let's pretend just some of these people aren't as familiar with Saiyans Entertainment. So right. let's just listen to a little bit, and then we'll skip forward. In a, you know, you know, know from the intro. <laughs> All right. Well, I have to give you the full story. They, they give Why was that? Rich? I gotta give you the full story. Because I was on a dry dock ship. You dry docking. Dad, can you just give me a little? Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> he needs a shot. I actually need some of this. Dad, I'm telling my, my boy's story. Can you, you give me? He looks at his out. cup. <laughs> you know the solo cup in my purple heart. No, All right, so I'm give it. So he is a pearl. He was wounded in battle. So yeah, I joined right. the navy. No, he the was navy. beat up by a smuggling raid. He is, in 2004. He is known as the lispy primate. You know, a little thing happened in the Iraq war. Oh, ho, ho, and they ho, ho. And then punched him on bitch. I wish they did. And the Rock's mom, I wish they did. But I'm um, sorry, I joined the Navy in Wait, 2004. So what did he say right there? The high school. He said For that he did not punch a Samoan bitch, but he wishes he did. The Rock's mother, to be particular. <laughs> now we're going to see, does this story change? All right. Does we'll it Tell me when you start him. skipping ahead. It, yeah, does Punching. it change it into him punching someone? <laughs> First, he was all neat and stupid. Stars, he was... got... All right. Don't take me out of context. And I went to the you army recruiting office in Providence. And then the nigga was like, all right, you signed this contract to be in boot camp in two weeks. I got to think about this. The recruiter flipped the fuck out. He's under pressure. We just did the Iraq war. He didn't get signed up and he flipped out. Whatever. Then my mom said, you know, there's other branch because I thought join the military, join the army. My mom was like, there's other branches. So I hit up so the Navy. High schooler. The Navy do pick me up. <laughs> he thought it was just did. army. Yeah, he thought the military was just like a monolith of just warriors and soldiers. You know, he didn't know like what the Air Force, nigga, what's that? Just wearing green <laughs> denim jeans. And a little condom hats marching around with fucking batons. 
I like how he said that the government was under pressure because of the Iraq war. So they're like, let's get Saiyans Entertainment in here. We need yeah, our best. Hey, we're calling in a ringer. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen him uh, play Dragon you, Ball. Any, faster you, you, than any other player. <laughs> I guess skills much are money unmatched. and everything, but you don't got to go to He's war. He's basically a Gundam. However, there was a <laughs> huge caveat. Des was not in the Navy, no. She was not a green She was boy. in the ocean. But um, the huge <laughs> caveat was... I met her in the ocean, though, stupid. Burr, burr. I had to hey, do hey, a hello. year of debt. <laughs> Delayed entry lead. process. So, when the time when I signed a contract to when I went to boot camp was a year in the Navy. And by the way, that year was filled with every month. You have to go down to the recruiter's office, take a drug test. They give you a physical. A physical? It to me for a year until I went to boot camp. A physical. Passed that. He, he the pronounced Navy. the P. So he was dying to get in, but then that he found a loophole Navy. to stay out for a year. He's like, I'll take yeah. a loophole for a year, stupid. It's a late entry program. They're still killing people over there. Let's see how this works out. In a year, maybe I'll go. <laughs> yeah, he was he was waiting to see on which side he would join. Who's Navy? Yeah, I I've seen Dragon Ball. I got to do some training. I got to go spare the time room and do some training. I got to go to the weight room, yeah. The gravity room. <laughs> he just has Dez sitting on his back or on his shoulders the whole time. <laughs> Smoking a new port as he does push-ups. Yeah, so back when I – and by the way – I miss when I joined. I flew out of my uniform. Do not remember. There's only one time we didn't fly. It's not being upgraded to first class. That's my flight home from the Navy. We're going to fucking fly that and propellers on it and shit. But, um, that was the good old days where people would stop you and thank you for your service. They would buy drinks for you on the plane. The good old days, but um, the good old days, and you could punch a Samoan. I I don't do drugs, so <laughs> the drug test was easy. Yeah, but man, the thing I had to do a year in depth. That was the thing you have to remember. I joined right after Rock War started. They tried to me. They to do a year. So when I signed the contract, I went to boot camp. Was a full year. Every month. Doing a drug test and doing a physical in the Navy. <laughs> the <laughs> he Army. says the P, I'm telling you. A physical. I would have been last. I got to sign a contract two weeks later in boot camp. I think it's part of it, <laughs> Everything, banana hammock. <laughs> what the fuck is he saying? No, I think I heard about 2004. What will Netflix think when they find out Joe um, yeah, so. Yeah. This Trump supporter. I did do a year of delayed entry. I signed in 2004. I didn't go to boot camp. Hold on. Maybe I can speed it up. Is anybody against me speeding, speeding up the playback? No, if you want to jump to the last three minutes. Okay. It's a whole and lot. Hold of on. Man. Let's try this. Just I earned as a med. Let's just try yeah, this, though, Ian. Oh, please. Yeah, no he, shit, and can you believe job. he was a medic? But I, I, chill like I was nine a nurse, Chicago. stupid. I would Wait, that what he said? Boy. He was a medic? He was a nurse. Uh, let's see. I'm going to take it back. The oh, only military bad, stories like... I've ever heard of Kyle is he, hide it, he hid in a smoke pit and just smoked cigarettes all day. And waved in the planes that hit the deck or whatever. But hold on, he might be a nurse. Now, I sped it up a little bit, guys, for the time's sake, and Kyle's slurring. So, um, September 2009. And then, I early went in as a medic. Then I did some Plato weirdo shit, and I switched jobs. But I, I chilled like nine months in Chicago. I am on a tie so I'm like, you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, or on the ship or sticker because um on a TAD status 
Damn, the nigga still talks slow. Story. Hold on. Boy, boy don't give me <laughs> side on TAD status. And uh, we fucked up. <laughs> TAD. No, I mean, my tongue is not swollen. My tongue is not swollen is what he said. Matt, uh, Matt, why did dick? Why do you get no pussy though? He's I got a fucking Liberty buddy in Okinawa. Was it Okinawa or Kusa? Oh, he Okinawa. sounds normal now. We're fucking over in the whorehouse. Uh, but, uh, they keep asking about the Samoan. Wait, what happened, Ian? Is Send it back thirty seconds. Clip? Yeah, set it back. Send it back and play it at regular speed. But okay, it was sorry. funny that drunk sayings sped up one and a half He's times. Normal. Sounds like sober sayings. Now let's hear it at regular speed. I actually yeah, think it this does. is perfect. Hold on. I'm sorry. It's all right. 1.0. That's the ne- oh, that's God, the magic boom, number. Right. Give it a second. Stupid. <laughs> let's give it a second, guys. You try to slow down the video, stupid. Slow down your computer. Yeah. Oh no! How did I sweep past it and didn't hear it? This is a fucking travesty, guys. It's not swollen. Matt, uh, Matt, why did you dick? Why did you get no pussy though? <laughs> you a fucking Liberty buddy in Okinawa. Was it Okinawa or Kusa? Who fucked me over in a whorehouse. Uh, I'm just uh, He's getting fucked over in a whorehouse. Uh, <clears throat> okay, one more time, but I need Ian to translate it all while it's going on. Was there nothing else after that? I might have missed it, but it, he just... He, no, that's oh, the end of the video, Ian my friend. Ian cut the clip too early. So. He just says, that's the fucking that moment, bitch. I was part of the fucking Puerto that. Rican. What a <laughs> and uh, we fucked up Liberty. We fucked up Liberty. No, I mean, my tongue is not swollen. Uh, go back further. Yeah, maybe I'm just, maybe I that just that let now. it run uh, long. Matt, what I wanted. Why do you dick? Why do you get no pussy? Why do you dick small? Why do you get no pussy though? I went in as a medic. I went in as a medic. Some Plato weirdo shit, and I switched job. But I, I chilled like nine months in Chicago. I am monetized on Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> Look for my name in the chat. That's kind of uh, what we're looking yeah, for. On the ship, I was thinking. Because um, on a TAD status, <laughs> This is a very important story, Kyle. Puerto Sober Rican, up. To the fucking whorehouse. And uh, right, we fucked up Liberty. Well, guys, I hope the grand finale was everything you dreamed it was going to be. <laughs> I can leave. Uh, I believe that was the end. But... Uh, well, no, well, just uh, tell me what the no, reason no, no, is. Ian may have rushed the end of the grab bag, everybody. Fuck no in the whorehouse. Oh, uh, okay. Might be what happened. Somebody fucked him over in a whorehouse, and so he got kicked out. Running around with these hoes. What? What do you mean, fucked him over in a whorehouse? How? I don't know. Probably punched a Samoan bitch. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. The ho- okay, that makes sense. Punched a Samoan. Now, is it... the bumper next week. It's just punched a Samoan. <laughs> is there a is there a, a Rana Nation video we can play? Or There's no? a Rana Nation, and then I also have some charts. Are you guys interested in podcasts? I numbers? believe Kenny TV <coughs> called the number that was in the Rana Nation, and he has a tape he wants us to play. Uh oh, we definitely. Okay, where's the tape? Him. It's just a uh, link to his regular Rana Nation. Wait, okay, I don't know what I'm looking for, guys. Am I supposed to be looking for something? I think it says we all get COVID. Okay. I also found an app this week that gives you uh, podcast numbers. Now, that's kind of like taking polling numbers, where it's like, is this podcast numbers for your website or for all of the apps for downloads versus listens? It's really hard to get an accurate read on podcasts. Uh, But if you want to take this as a polling, we found some very startling results, and we may cover them next. Let's do that instead, because I don't know what y'all are talking about. Uh, da, da, da. The 
Urana Nation, he has that brown filter on him. That other clip we saw, I just pulled a clip out of it. Oh, him. okay. Is that what and we're I, looking for? I think I wrote above it, like, starting at the nine-minute mark is good. Oh, good. I'm sorry. There we go, Ian. I didn't even know. Is, that, is, this, Guys. A, is this the Kenny clip or no? Is this the Kenny clip or no? Oh, shit. Yeah, if you got the Kenny clip, let's play that. Yeah, so Kenny. No, we'd have to bring Kenny in for that. So Kenny, get your link ready. Yeah, Kenny, go get your link ready. Put it in the private chat for me. How about that? Guys, I just want to apologize for the Proud Boy stuff, uh, for the baby stuff. I really am just joking around. I'm sorry. I feel terrible about everything we've oh, done God. here. No, he doesn't. He's lying. I swear to God, I'm a nice person. It's just no, jokes. It's not. Really, it's not. He's not nice at all. We're it, all you... eternal beings made out of light. You can let go. You can let go and let God. Okay, guys. I'd like I, to I, apologize I, to all the children that Jim and Nan took advantage of. I want you know, before to before the show we were eavesdropping on I believe Frank. And Frank was talking like Jim and Nan, and then you hear a kid in the background and he goes, Who's that kid? And the girl goes, uh, it was the same kid as Jim and Nan. What the fuck was it? Darius? Name? Darius. He goes, Oh, that's just Darius. I was like, God damn. He's there fucking everywhere. Again. Darius Mike. and Frank are hanging out together. It's I didn't know perfectly that. normal I'm to sorry, get guys. coronavirus, I'm sorry. and I'll tell I'm you sorry. what. I'm I sorry. got diabetes. My computer's <laughs> just dying. We're really pushing. Like, everything is buffering now. We're really I'm glad right, we ended the grab, uh, grab bag. Hold up the 10 second long clip. Uh, it is. Okay, video. yeah, I was going to play no, that. This is I, mean, it. I this just is went it. and just did a shit. No, it is. It, it, I said cosmic a lot of shit this week. I blew up his inbox. It's perfectly normal to get coronavirus, and I'll tell you what. I got diabetes. Guys, I got diabetes. It's it's my time. Oh my god, stop playing. I didn't even have YouTube open. Why did it start playing again? It wasn't even open. We got him to play Joe Joe Booney nonstop. (laughs) I don't know what I'm listening okay, to well, right now. This, this is interesting. Crazy. This is all just crazy. This is all just crazy. I'm sorry. This I don't know what to do. I don't. I'm. Am I showing? Y'all see what I'm seeing? No, the you don't. We hear do it. We don't see it. But we're good. It's quiet. Yeah, you yeah. hear it. Yeah. I just. I don't know what to tell you guys. I don't know. What Everyone, to tell you. we've been hacked. Oh, the Russians God, I have don't taken know over what's the with going apology on. show. I don't even know what's going on. Okay. What the fuck is this? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. I just I don't know what to tell you. This <laughs> is why Ryan Hall didn't retweet us. Because this right here. Yeah, no, it's fair. Why don't you should bring that? Oh up? no, There's a graphic in there. Okay, Here's well let Ryan me tell you. Long may have peaked with his with apologies appearance. You guys want to know how beautiful life is? Just how like this is why I know God exists and like He has a sense of humor. I finally got the proper video pulled up. Well, I don't know which one it is now. God. Uh, I don't know why it's not giving well, after, me proper name. After Ryan Long didn't retweet Cosmic Cam, his numbers steadily fell off. And what we've learned is that the RDA Nation actually makes up about 90% of podcast downloads across all networks and platforms. So you don't want to lose the RDA block. When I finally got the right link up, Bellin, this is what I saw. <laughs> Video oh, thank God. Violent. Good, good thing. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, it's been great. Uh, you know. See, yeah, if you hold on for another minute, it'll be All two right. hours. Just uh, two hours and just you another see one. Dante minute. Nero's podcast numbers. There we go. I can do that. All right. You know what? I want to see. I, I do want to see. Those. Let's just pull you these pictures up. I think there's like six or seven of them. Again, these are very unstable polling. Just talk for a second so I can start yeah. pulling all these up. See, you ever get to the end of the show and just feel terrible? Mm, no. Nah, never. <laughs> just me? Yeah. Why did you feel terrible? What did we do? Here we go. This is we're so mean. To who? One. Oh, People. What happened? I'll just put my BJs on. What happened? <laughs> uh, video got moved. They're trying to keep with apologies down. And Gucci I'm PJs. It up. You know what video you put on? 
We'll scrap really? the video. Let's just look at the pictures and we'll call it a night. Thanks, we also dude. have a picture of Louis J. Gomez blowing Robert Kelly. The video has been scrubbed from the internet, but there's a hell of a still frame that's been left laying around. I don't know if that still frame is something we should show on here for, for Cosmic Cam's sake. It is floating around the Legion of Skanks sub subreddit. Uh, I believe Lewis is being accused of supporting the Proud Boys currently. Yeah, he does support the Proud Boys. <laughs> So this is how the, the Dante Nero program does on the comedy podcast billboards, you could call them. Jeez. You can see it spikes around Proud Boy coverage. Mm -hmm. we, we have the uh, Tulsa truck incident here. <laughs> have a nice spike there. Right when you get past the mountain range. Yeah. Jesus. So it's, uh, what would you say, like the... Does it read like the low 300s? I can't see the screen close enough. The numbers? Yeah. It's yeah. on. It's 170, a little bit before above 175. Yeah. And what? This is Legion of Skanks? This no, is Dante this is Nero. Man Camp. Man School, two about 200 two. views. No, two, 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 school. 200 views, stupid. All that work, all that costume and. 200 lighting. views, stupid. 200 people. Well, all the right. top 200 comedy podcasts. Let's be fair. <laughs> it's a loose list right there, isn't it? So really, it's totally irrelevant, is what you're saying. Well, let's see who we got next. Okay, well, let's see. Maybe a, a, a certain top celebrity asshole who's too good for me. Oh, look. It's oh, the boys. Mr. Ryan Long. Long. Boys cast, Mr. Ryan Long. That's how, how he's doing. So as you see oh. here, when he oh, appeared no. on the cover, <laughs> oh, that's not good. After failing to retweet Cosmic Cam, he's been on a steady decline. You got two lumps there for when Jing's dissed him, but that was about it. Now he's wildly popular on YouTube, and this doesn't. This is just podcast downloads in the world of comedy podcasts. Uh, a lot of people checked him out. Not a lot of people stuck around. That sucks. For him. Jeez. Good for us, though. Now, let's see. <laughs> what do we have next? We're we kingmakers. Ryan Long. Or we can take you down, too. Oh, no. <laughs> Why would you show this one? Copy link. Let's see. Who is this? Who could this be? We got somebody that one day we're going to be bigger than, guys. Don't you worry. The Joe Rogan <laughs> experience. <laughs> Uh, just to oh, let you know, okay. his number is so high, it's not a number, it's a noise. Mm. Yeah, it's just like, Bing! it's a static state of success. He, he has blown out all numbers that anybody could ever achieve, ever. Yeah, he sets like the standard in the bar, essentially. So that's what the top number looks like. Now let's get back to regular folk. Okay, rec people regular that aren't old. making a hundred million dollars a year. Yeah, people who aren't selling out to uh, Spotify. Let's see. People that don't have to deal with Bard Broom. People who don't have to suck Satan's dick for an extra million. I'm sorry. Maybe got a little, little angry there. Let's pull this up. Oh, I didn't even see who it was. Oh, the real ass podcast. Louis J. Gomez. Let's see real how you do. ass podcast. I wonder if I can put my stuff on there. I, I, I would numbers. love it if Gas Digital picked up Joe Booney. That would be phenomenal. Oh, boy. I mean, Ooh. on their best day, they were better than Dante's worst day. That's not good. Ooh. Looks like man school is killing Yeah. <laughs> the Puerto Rican rattlesnake in the numbers. I don't know How what you guys got to do to pick it up. I find the show very exciting. Uh, you're killing it in YouTube, but uh, mm. podcast downloaders. Are not Way below 175. It. Jesus. There's a dip there where like everybody just skipped an episode. Yeah, people just were like that. Ugh. Was probably me and Ross Dog. Yeah, I was just about to make that joke. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and last but definitely not apparently not least, the great Ian Ellis. <laughs> I'm sure he's doing better than all those other three guys. I, I hope see. so. Oh, Drum roll. oh no, Ian! It looks like you've fallen <laughs> off. Oh no! Ever since, you, ever since you left RDA, you've fallen off. 
It looks like a woman on an operating table. You definitely. Oh, yeah. The nipple legs are in the stirrup, and it drops to full full birth rate. <coughs> Jesus. <laughs> Somewhere around last month. <coughs> but we're all doing bad. At some point, you were in the top 100 in 25. Yeah. That's yeah, higher than any of the podcasts besides Joe Rogan. Ian, you were more popular than the real ass podcast. The end yeah, of oh, kinda, definitely. It looks like the Sphinx. It does. It does look like the Sphinx. It literally trails <laughs> off to zero. That's it's Ian dying. Out. It's a picture of Ian dying. <laughs> Ian, there's a truck ran over. Jesus. So there you go, guys. It's. Uh... It's official. We're bigger than everyone else. It doesn't mean anything, but Lewis, <laughs> Lewis, I get to tease you now. Uh huh. Oh, you know the numbers don't matter, doggy. It's all about doggy, the numbers. Let's play big bank, little bank. All right, Lewis, you win. Uh, <laughs> big bank, little bank. Rich dad, rich bank, poor bank. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm fucking sleepy. You're getting there. You're getting tired. Right, guys, this has been an- Another exciting episode with apologies. I hope you had fun. Ian, uh, can I man. say that there's a man named Kenny TV that really wants us to see his call in Toronto? Oh, All right. Well, oh, see. oops. Okay. Responding to the call of the Iran nation. Do I have the link? Canada's Kenny. Liberty. Can, get you Kenny got, on the show. And I'm Kenny's not here, guys. He left like uh, look, two minutes ago. Kenny, I gone. told you after the grab bag. Do we have his clip? I don't know where. Oh God! Now I gotta look look for his someone, channel. Can someone post the link in the chat, please? Kenny, go to Kenny yeah, TV LSC two SKU. Yeah, exactly. And Agro, Helen, I'm expecting you, Jennifer. I'm expecting one of you guys. Jennifer, Jennifer. Hey, there. hey Kenny. Oh, it's probably. I couldn't a, share the Arana Nation tape. My device didn't let me. No, all you have to do is share the link with me, and I'll share it. How about that? Kenny? I tried to share it with with anybody. It won't let me. Just Copy DM it to someone, Kenny. It won't let me. <laughs> I tried to share to Ian five I, times. I, I feel no. like How? his video must have gotten flagged, and so he can see it, but he can't share it. Mm-hmm. Were you I saying play threatening it. things? Yeah, play it. Let's go with that. Hold on. We're going to do this old school. Kenny, why don't you just call him right now? Oh, what is going on? Kenny lives in an aquarium. I don't know if you guys knew that. (laughs) This is a pump right there. It's pumping oxygen into his water. I'm off the floor and they let me eat the leftover fish tails. Both Jimmy Butler's sensational point. Jimmy Butler. Can't Kenny, you can't even turn off your sports. It's the CEO. No, it's not. Oh, it's uh, not? Who is it? Oh, it's Joe. It's Joe. So, Joe, mute your mic. That one, sir. Um, my phone went to sign into a thing. <laughs> wait, right, wait, never, wait. Never just mind. wait. Just yeah, wait. Just be quiet. <laughs> Ian, is that your place? I like that. It's a really nice. Uh... <laughs> yep, it's my electric company. Well, I guess they didn't answer. Oh, wait, 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 uh, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> what a great clip, Kenny. That was Kenny, good. You're, you're a soldier. You're a trooper. You're going to be the one that gets me killed. Definitely. They Ian, you want to get the plugs in? Alliance, uh, habitual lion stepper. Uh, so the picture you're seeing, um, 
I deleted my Facebook and my phone went to sign into something through Facebook. And once you delete it, you still have to wait 30 days. And I wanted to make sure it didn't like reactivate the account. So I went and searched my name and there's a fuckload of Ian Ellis's and one of them had a, a, some sort of vehicle with my name on the side of it. So I just thought I'd, I'd promote a fellow Ellis. He's the one that did all this shit. I'm doxing myself. My real identity. <laughs> Well, we they all don't know. don't pest with this person at all. I just was sharing oh, a picture of his truck. Oh God, I'm trying to look for something, Ian. I might have gotten taken down by YouTube. I don't know. Hold on. I feel like we've done enough. We've done more than enough, but give me one second. You you can go, Ian, if you want. I'll talk down the rest of the show. I'm gonna get out of here. You this guys, is pertinent. This was a, Good night, it was Ian. a fun night. I love you all. Kenny, you you land us home. I'm sorry. Ian, sorry. CEO is sorry. Trust me, guys. He doesn't mean any ill will or intent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so I'm so sorry. Oh, what the fuck? I hate YouTube. I hate these little bullshit things that it's t- only people who deal with the YouTube a lot know. It's like I have a new video and I can't even look at it on my laptop, but I can go on my phone and it's right there. Boom. Are you, do you use a laptop or a desktop? Uh, a laptop right now. Okay, so now I got to figure out a way. From my phone to share a link of something that should be right there. Isn't it crazy? Isn't it crazy? Okay. Now go ahead. I don't give a fuck. Isn't the world just crazy, guys? This is why we'll never go to space. So This is all I'm going to say. Because things uh, don't. Is it true that Ross is returning next week? Hell yeah, he's returning next week. <laughs> he's gonna take down the Iran. He's gonna fight for the Iran nation. Hell yeah, Kenny. Are you signing up for the draft? Are you part of the Iran nation? Are you gonna die for the I, country of Canada? I don't live in Canada, so I technically. I I don't remember asking that. I can't. You can't. He's gonna run for join the total around the nation. Canada. Kenny, don't you know girls that live in Canada? I know a few. Just get married to a girl in Canada, and then you live in Canada. I know a lot of Canadian girls, uh, Kenny. Damn boot bit, you're in there. Yeah, this is the one. I think it's. I yeah. Thank you, Ian. But I promise, I tried to open it on my computer, and it said it was taken down. And I'm tired and still have to go to the store and eat something. So, without further ado, guys, ianellis.podbean.com, right, Velen? Is that what it is? That is the podcast that none of you listen to, ianellis.podbean.com. He does it twice a week. No one listens to it, and he refuses to upload it to YouTube. He needs you guys. (laughs) He needs you. you. CEO guys go with apologies too, right? Is that the one we're loading up? We're making it big. Uh, I don't know. I heard with apologies just got to a thousand subscribers, so I feel like you should subscribe to the original with apologies. And I mean, if you're bored, go look up with apologies too. With apologies too, I'll put some of these links in. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Follow with apologies. Follow Cosmic. Follow all the great people on here, and especially follow um, CEO on Facebook. Yeah, oh, yeah, Joe right. Booney and take her to ever one hashtag. Yeah, you damn know, you know that, guys. In a I want to tell you guys my, my reaction to the sandwich I had today. I've never had a, a sandwich like this. If you want to, I'm so pop ready up, to off and go eat. Go, yeah, hold on, let's go ahead, let's look at it. This will make you more hungry, okay? I, I, know. Say, I would love to marry Cynthia, but she lives in Toronto, it's too damn cold over there. So everyone has been telling me, have you tried this restaurant called Cluck It? Cluck It. Wow, that's interesting. Thanks to my cousin, Brahim Halbuni, on owning his first restaurant. So I said to myself, you know what? Let's try it for today. People have been telling me, you haven't tried it yet? I said, no, I don't eat out much. I like to eat home. I like to be healthy. But you know what? It's my cousin. I want to support him. Now, you know, I love my food. And I can tell you if it's good or bad. So let's see if people are right. Well, they sound amazing, the sandwiches. Here we go. Cluck it. Brahim Habuni from London, Ontario, Canada. Here we go. Mm. 
Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Fuck. Hmm. I think I'm in love. <laughs> That's a, that was the best sandwich in the world, guys. The best sandwich. Thanks for the commercial, Joe. <laughs> The oh best shit! Sandwich in the world. I think Joe commercial. left. Right, I accidentally kicked him. I was trying to remove his screen. I think I actually removed Joe. No, I wouldn't have kicked him. He would have been in. The Joe, we love backstage. you. That was an accident. No, he would have been in the backstage. I didn't We're gonna all buy sandwiches from your cousin. We're all gonna Uber eat some. It's gonna take two days for the driver to get them to us down here in America. Sorry about that, <laughs> Joe. It looked like a delicious oh, sandwich. Man, the what, driver can't cross the border. Could the oh, sandwiches? Oh be yeah, there? the lockdown. None of no Americans are gonna be able to eat it. That was amazing. Man. That was like it was like a it was, it was like a it was like a fillet, but it was like better than that. Like something that I need to send to you, Cosmic. <laughs> Delicious. Sandwich Joe Booney, in the mail sounds pretty good. Joe Booney, thank you for joining the show with us today. And with apologies, and we're all excited for the potential Netflix upcoming documentary series. It's gonna be great. The Joe Booney movie. Good night, sure. Joe. Good night. Kenny, thank you for your Ron and Nation call, brother. You're the best. You come in the clutch. Maybe now I'll be in the intro. Bellin, thank you for always for helping me keep Ian wrangled and wild or wrangled <laughs> and in and, 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 and tame. Because sometimes Ian, he will run off. You know what I'm saying? If you let him. Sometimes we got a lot done, to, though. We, we, to, we have to be proud of ourselves. We definitely did a lot. Listen, felony Charles Bennett, he's going to be the muscle for the RDA. I uh, Adam Freelander, he, <laughs> uh, we don't know about him. He'll, he'll be all right. And we'll Dante see Nero started a terrorist group. Guys, we did a lot today. Yeah, we discovered that we started a terrorist group on the debate. We covered I'm the debate. sorry. I'm sorry we started a terrorist group. It <laughs> wasn't my fault. It wasn't intentionally. All right, guys. You guys have a wonderful night and a wonderful tomorrow. This was the With Apologies program. Let's go. All radio is dead. All radio is dead. I'm afraid of radio wars. You fucking, you niggas trying to play the nigga, trying. Who is this guy? Who is this? Read that, read that comment down there, Lance. Did you see it? This guy here now sounds a lot better than Sansy. This dude is ruined being Asian for dynasties. Forget about Star Trek. There's not going to be another Asian in space for generations. He's a man with respect. He respects women 150%. She's not even a real hoe. This is the dumbest shit I've ever seen in my life. What the fuck are you pushing me to? <laughs> and one of her front teeth that is cut with a slam, like it's a 45 degree angle. How the fuck does that happen? It looks like someone cut it with a rotary tool. Yeah, get Ian Ellis on the show. He follows us on, uh, follows me on Twitter. Spell it, Joe. 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 He's a radishy cougar. And if he thinks I'm fake news, well, you know what? Come see what fake news is, because I'll teach you what fake news is, because we are real news. We kill the fighting J. We are real human beings, and nobody disrespects me. That was your gay. Make fun of my show all you want. Hey, I don't care. See, you're, you're the joke, not me. You're the biggest joke on the face of this earth. You didn't know what you're talking about. You didn't make sense. You can't even show your own face. Get the super mic. That's this. I don't need no mic. Do I need a mic to be on my show? No, I don't need a mic. I don't need a, I don't need nothing. I just need a camera. My sports shows. I you have a basement that is broken down. Holes in the wall. Holes in the wall. Welcome to the gaming channel. Give me a freaking break. I'm better than you 150%. You address the question. Who addressed the question, you fucking bitch ass chinkster? Seriously, who wants to watch rice there? You got me. Are you fucking scheming? Yes. yes. Freak. We're yes. working really hard all day to put these shows together so that you can get 15 minute cam shows. Yes. yes. We got like guys that are just living, literally obsessed with Patrice O'Neill. 
I don't understand that. No. I apologize. My name's Ian. I know. Let me Fuck introduce you. myself. I laughed at all of your jokes. I laughed at all of Alan's jokes. I'm always good with people. Go fucking fuck yourself. What do you feel like I did to you? Uh, just, just go. Just don't, don't talk to me. I apologize. Do not talk to me. Do not talk to me. Go away. All right. Well, I apologize. Well, no, you I don't feel give bad. A shit. Go fuck yourself. I, I want to make amends. I yeah. Wanna... No, you were horrible. You were horrible, and you humiliated me in front of a group of people that I care about and respect. So please go away. I apologize. No, you're, you're not even any good. Away. So please go away. Thank you. No, and I'm no, sorry. go fuck yourself. <laughs> so this little fag, he fucking, he goes, I don't like radio awards, and he fucking does 